if YouTube actually registers at as streaming. Yeah. There it goes on. YouTube. Yeah. Okay, do you see our lovely Oh background? there we go. Yeah. That's a professional, huh? Very. <laughs> Can't read the text the, the text though from typing, can you? Yeah, I, I can, yeah. But the thing is, uh, I've, also, I've also got the chat box open on my left-hand side. See, there's Anton Herbs already chatting away there. And Nick Cheese at Aping, Aping Fowler. And yeah, yeah, the guys are joining. So I think we give, we give it a two, two or three more minutes. We can actually sure. start, start uh, bombing you with the questions. Well, well, first of all, we could say hello to Anton. Hello to Nick Cheese. Hello to Vaping Bigfoot. What's and up? It's Mofo. Mofo. Ah, oh, there's Pete on the beach with Pete. Peter, Peter Maria. Yeah. All right, listen, you guys are watching. Um, the image is a good, the sound is a good from both me and Rob. Are you guys happy with everything? Just type there in the chat if you guys are, are IFA okay. Yeah, forget van how's it? Give us a feedback on the quali quality, guys. Hello, vaping brew and brew deaths. <laughs> else, else, we must bike spread the whole time. Hello, Naeem. So you guys can hear us fine? Too I low. assume so, because they're talking to us. Okay, what is too low? Is Rob sitting too low in his chair? <laughs> 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 All right, listen. Um... What are you vaping today, Rob? Start off with uh, that. I'm vaping my Evec Mini and my um, Mellow 3 Mini. Oh, I've lost your voice. Mine? Your voice is gone. My voice is not gone. Oh, uh, it's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just quiet. I was listening to you. Uh, uh, of course. Okay. That's actually how it happens. Yeah, no, sorry. I was watching on YouTube and not on the camera. Yeah, I think YouTube is going to be slightly delayed. Yes. There you go. That guy never contacted me back about the Dwarf RTA. It's a pity. I hope he still wants to sell it, though, because I'd actually love to review it. love to test it. Uh, the brand new ones coming in. Uh, Zeke is getting stock um, next week. All right. I've got the double barrel going over here. I just removed the skin because I like my ladies more in natural. And... Uh, Tokugawa smacking a bit of old DNA 75 goodness with the reload X on top of it. DNA 75 <laughs> rocks. What, yes. I'm really, what I'm really vaping on is my Solar Storm with the dwarf on top and the steam tuner's cap and the Siam mod stripter. Oh, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. All right. So I think we've got enough people inside here so that we can actually start talking about the topic. So. What do you think is going to be my first question to you, Mr. Rob? Um, how many mods have I got? No. Uh, how are you doing? That's the first uh, question. And mine is nice to be with <laughs> you. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I went on a couple of websites. When you actually go and Google high-end, what is high-end gear, then you come across normal vape shops which... Um, register mods like the um, a, the SIG and um, the Therion, etc. as high-end. But that's not high-end, is it? Not at all. Not even close. So what would you classify as a high-end hardware piece? Because I think it okay. slightly differs between modern atomizers. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 uh, it's always a tricky question, but high-end uh, to me is... Um, a cut above the rest, you know, essentially none of the Chinese mass produced stuff. It's as simple as that. Handmade, um, expensive, good quality materials, and even some high ends are made in China now. But I mean, expensive does not necessarily mean that it is high end, does it? No, it doesn't. Because I mean, I saw some awesomely expensive mods which are f fairly crappy according to me though. Yeah, hundred percent. So I think it's more situation of of um, craftsmanship, machining that goes into it, and then entering that niche market, releasing via Facebook or other other media, not 
worldwide, etc. So I think the exclusive, but exclusivity must be also linked to it, though. Oh yeah, very much so. Very but, much so. Now, uh, what would you rate the Hadley as? That's high. End. Is it? So anything from Cyclone mods, you would reckon high end? Well, it's it's it's. Look, they're made in China, but they are made in a high end factory. You know, it's it's quality stuff. That's it. So I would say all the Cyclone stuff is all up there. So you, so you would actually classify certain items that even if it's this distributed via, you can get it on fast tech or you can get it on here or you get it on there. It can still. You'll, ne you'll never get it from fast tech. As in, never buy any anything high end from fast tech or three of vape or any of those thieving, cloning. <laughs> now, where would you write the Anita Squonka? <laughs> <laughs> No, forget that question. Now, if if you go in the park, if you're going to take a walk with your high-end setup, whether it is your dwarf um, or whether it is your Skyfall or whatever with one of those snake, blue snake mods of yours, and you're going to sit on a bench and the guy next to you rocks a smock V8 stick, what goes through your mind? But be, you've got to be honest, Rob. you sitting there with your... And this guy's got his. <laughs> well, my initial reaction is going to be he's a new vapor because all he wants to do is blow massive clouds and he's not interested in perfect flavor. But at the end of the day, honestly, as long as you're vaping and you're not smoking, that's great. Yeah. If, however, he's using clone stuff, that's a different story because I have... As everybody well know, clone, cloning is something that drives me insane because I've got to know a lot of a lot of the modders as friends. I've met them. I met them in France when I was at the show. Uh, I met them in Germany this year, and it really pisses me off that these guys spend hours and hours designing and prototyping. I mean, for instance, the Skyfall. Does, how long do you think that was in 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 um, prototyping, and how long it took to come to market? Two years. Yeah. Yeah. And it was then you just can over two years because and you can understand the price. Yeah, and and if you understand Vasilis, the guy, the designer and the maker himself, he is. I mean, he's put so much into that um, RDA. I mean, I, I chatted to him in France last year, and he was telling me about it and the fact that he, he was using um, air, what do you call those things where you test um, cars? Air tunnels. He was doing tunnel testing and all that kind of stuff. And then he releases it, and what happens? They steal his design and clone it. I, I failed to see how anybody can can say that that's okay yeah so that's but if he's if the guy next to me is sitting on what what the guy sitting on the bench is obviously going to see mine and say oh that's very really nice and i want to show him and uh tell him about it but do do you have any problem with somebody that actually wants to just get the taste of a high-end product cannot afford it buys a clone i'm talking about that type of guy who really wants to be part of it he wants to experience yeah it's a it's a difficult question because why because i bought clones in the past Damn. when i couldn't get a uh, authentic k-fund four years ago i bought a clone unfortunately all the k-fund clones were crap every single one of them i mean i must have tried five or six of them and everyone ended up in the gorge yeah. So yeah, look, I do understand. I understand that not everybody's got money, and I understand that not everybody can afford authentics, and they want to taste and they want to play, but that doesn't make it right. Yeah. Okay, it's, just I must... like, it's just like me going to the flea market and buying a a Dolce and Gabbana bag or a Superman a Marvel T-shirt. It's not right. Yeah. It's not. It's not right. Essentially, these suspect people are copying designs 
and making money of other people's intellectual property. It's not right. I mean, by the same token, you can't be holier than now because do we download TV programs off the internet? There you go. Absolutely. Why do we do it? Because we can't get it here. Yeah. Does that make it right? No, it doesn't. Mm. Okay. But the beauty of, of it now is that now you've got Netflix and uh, this online where you pay and it's authorized. But yeah, look, it's, it's a great, it's a great, I just have a huge problem because the guys suffering are friends of mine. That's right, yeah. But then again, that guy who buys the clone would probably never in any case have had the opportunity to buy a authentic. Doesn't matter. Because <laughs> I mean, matter. when you come I to... Mean, you know, look, it's, it's a bit, it's like, can you afford the new Ferrari? No, I can't. Can I? No, I can't. So I can't. That's just the way it is. <laughs> You're not going to buy a kit car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I must I must say a lot of a lot of these clones coming out these days are fairly accurate in performance. It's simple yeah. with today's technology. You pop pop it on the scanner, you put it into your CNC machine, and bingo, you've got it. So yeah, yeah um, I'm not saying for one second that some of the the, the clones are are not really good, and they are. Yeah, some of them, some are absolute crap. Yeah, we're not talking but, about material. We're talking about we're going to say basic performance now. How long the parts are going to last, how long the peak insulation is going to last, that's a different story or the plating sure. or whatever. But sure. I mean, that, that Hadley review, which I basically did, comparing my authentic to a clone, that Hadley clone actually came extremely close, if not the same flavor wise. Yeah, I know. But for I me, mean, it was just the idea of it being a clone I've, that I got I've rid of. It. Been, I've never been a big fan of the Hadley because I got one of the very first ones. And, and you can't cats. squonk. Well, yeah, no. yeah. That's another story. But the cat, the cat was so tight, and I, I actually never really used the Hadley to any great degree because yeah. I was so excited when it came because I know, and, and I've spoken to the guy a few times, and I was really excited and just, oh. Yeah, but the thing, the thing about the Hadley is, if you've got, if you you can get yourself one of those P, PMA caps, which is going to help with the temperature, and you've got a stiff bottle, I then the Hadley PMA. is awesome. I, I hate <laughs> PMA caps. I really do. I... Now, okay, let's get back to the high end business. Now, you have got how many high end mods in your collection at the moment? I'm not talking what is in transit because that's probably an extra twenty. I've sold a lot. Yeah, <laughs> to be sold. I don't know. I, have, I, I haven't counted really, but um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, We'll call high end these days for sure but it's 45 minus the rios now those on your left hand side could could, could you just quickly show the viewers the guys watching over here and okay, just tell I, them what are those mods okay these are solar storms they've both got dwarf dl's on top they've both got um the steam tuners cap and they've both got drip tips from cyan mods and they're both DNA 75s. They're from Epsilon Mods in Malaysia. Uh, the, the mod maker's name is Nicholas Fu. What a first class fellow. And they reason. One of the issues, some of the modders are quite difficult to deal with, as you can imagine. And let me tell you, Nicholas, first class. If he's going to be delayed, he tells you. He never lies to you. And I mean, there's one particular modder, which I won't name, who just drives me insane. <clears throat> he promises you it's coming. <coughs> from, from UK or from Greece? No, neither. <laughs> Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next okay. up, up is another DNA 75. I love the DNA 75. I really do. Um, this has got the 24 karat gold plated skyline on top from ESG. 
And, um, and don't forget the tip. Don't forget the tip. Uh, the tip's also um, gold plated. Oh, no, gold it's, plated. Not, it's not from Jacques. Okay. Uh, okay. Gold plated one from Jacques is on another mod. Uh, the gold, the proper gold one. Yeah, yeah. This is a CLZ former. It comes from CLZ mod in Helsinki in Finland. Um, quite an interesting way you hold this one. You fire it with your um, thumb. Oh, hang on, it would help if I turn it on. There we go. And if you would flip that guy now, what what probably could you flip it for? Not that you're a flipper. I know you're not. The the former would, wouldn't really flip because they are easy enough to get. Okay. So you... You'd probably get recommended retail, which is 550 euro. Jeez, like it. But that's basically the same which you, which the vape droid's going for, at the moment. Fl yeah, but flipper. that's a flipper price of the vape droid. It didn't cost that. The, no, the it cost about 300. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's the, a, the, the gold yeah. skyline. I could flip. This thing would flip for mega bucks because ah. there's only one. There's only actually two in the world. Jeez. Uh, and it, I sent this to Germany for plating, to a real specialist. Um, okay, next up is one of our favorite uh, mods from way back. It's the Hellfire Phantom. Um, again, these are still selling. I mean, this must be four, four years old. Um, it's an Essex uh, chipset. On top, I've got a, uh, this is the Typhoon GT4. And that's Stabwood. Yeah, this is Stabwood. The others yeah. were all resin. Uh, no, this is Stab, no, that's Stabwood. Okay, yeah. And also the former, this is also Stabwood. CC. Um, and the GT4 has got um, a steam tuner's cap from Greece as well. But I mean, this this whole before you continue with your your collection, this whole thing about high end. I mean, if I if I look what you are doing now, look at what I'm gonna do now, with this guy. This is the nunchaku. Okay, say it. Nunchaku. Nun, nunchaku. Uh, I was putting nunchuk. that little Chinese in. Nunchaka. Okay. <laughs> and the thing is, I get a vape out of it. Yeah. That's what you're doing with the vape. So you must just tell tell the okay. guys. That it is a personal preference thing going no, into no, high end. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh-uh. <laughs> there, are, there, are, there are differences. It's like going to the shop to buy bread in a VW Beetle or going in a Porsche. It's how it makes you feel. No. Oh, it, okay. The, the drive is completely different. It's completely different. I mean, you get into a, a Toyota and you you go and do a trip, it's really nice, especially the new ones, beautiful. Then you go and get into a Mercedes Benz with hydraulic suspension. Uh -huh. It's different. It's completely, it, <laughs> it happens to an, an Rob, you just, you're just trying to justify your expensive uh, hobby. No, no, I'm Pressing not. this, it fires. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lighting a cigarette <laughs> and vaping, it, you get you get vapor. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not, no, honestly, particularly on mods to a very large degree, I would agree with you. Whether yeah. you're firing it on a on a on a vaporizer tube or a five hundred euro mod, in a lot of cases, there's a six of one and half a dozen of the other. Yes. However. If you fire it on a DNA 75 or a DNA 250C or an SX450 chip, they're different. The, the vape is different, no question about it. The real, the real magic, obviously, is in the, is in the ATI. The RTA. But you, you still maintain you get better flavor out of RTAs than RDAs. Absolutely. Absolutely. But bear in mind that that's based on the red type yeah, and, and, and red pill. Yeah. Red pill yeah. is a menthol, it's a fruity menthol, mm -hmm. and no matter which way I slice and dice it, I get a better vape out of a, The Skyline is probably the best flavor RTA in the world. Do I use it that much? No, not really. Why? Because it's got such a 
small juice capacity, and I can't really go out and about because filling it up is such a pain in the ass. You've got to close down the juice flow control, unscrew the thing, pull it off, fill up, and go through that whole exercise again. It, it's uh, so. I, I use it on my desk because the flavor is magnificent. But then you you look at um, the Typhoon GT4 or the um, Dwarf. The Dwarf to me is the best of all worlds because it doesn't cost what most of these high-end tanks cost. It's, mm. It retails at about 1600 here. I mean, I did some group bars a little while back and we ended up selling them, I think, for 1300. Uh, that's just over twice the price of a Chinese tank. And the flavor is fantastic. Yeah, but see, you, you're lucky that you, you, you settled on that specific menthol fruit flavor. Because I know, yeah, that is based out of RTAs. But if I, I'm a dessert guy, and I can't vote my desserts out of an RTA and get the same experience then from these blokes. 100% so, agree with you. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm with you. With the I mean, you know, my, one of my other favorite uh, juices, when I say other favorite, other juices that I actually vape, and I actually buy bottles of juice and, and use them, is the Top Lux Mint yeah. from Juicy Lex. Now, that is way better in the dripper. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. Fanta that's a fantastic juice. Yeah, that is my... <laughs> <laughs> but it needs to it needs to go in the dripper. Yeah, you yeah you have to. Yeah, yeah you and can't. In fact, my favorite dripper for that juice, in fact, is a Chinese RDA, the the recurve. Is it? Mm. My goodness! You say you weren't a big fan of the Reload X? Uh, no. Guess like it. I'm enjoying it. I'm having good fun. Uh, I think I'm, I think I gave it away. Is it? Now, right, show us some more of your, your H H E mods. Okay. As you were. Yeah, there's another CL, CLZ. This it's, is the CLZX. This yeah. is actually also a, um, a Al DNA Alien Vibrator. Eh? Alien Vibrator. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's got a skyline on top with a blue tank. This will drive the purists out of their mind because if I show pictures of the skyline with bubble tanks and other things the purists get really upset with me but i just figure this looks quite cool yeah and it does it actually does yeah but but uh, rob now that you mentioned that that's another thing which i find weird as a reviewer i mean i might say something like i enjoyed the nudge more than i did the recurve and then you get people that actually shit in their pants why wow. would you i mean it's an opinion <laughs> which which yeah. i gave and you also review as well how can somebody tell you you're wrong? It's yeah, ridiculous. I don't, re I don't really review anymore <laughs> because it's just <laughs> the ass the hassle of the comments. <laughs> no, not really. It's just I don't think people are that interested in high end as much as they are the average bits and pieces. And yeah. I don't really want to go and spend five hundred rand on a Chinese RTA or a Chinese RDA that I'm never going to use. That's right. Um, so. Yeah, I, but I think it's a the, pain in the, making reviews is actually a pain in the ass. I mean, you know, you've got to record it. Oh, well, you've got to plan, first of all. Yeah. You've got to record it, make sure everything is 100%. Then you've got to sit there for hours on end editing it. Yeah, and, 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 and Lord forbid you make a mistake. <laughs> Then, I mean, all the haters are on you, and they share that mistake, and the guys pop out of the weirdest places. Yeah. Sahara Desert just to come and dish you on your comments. And the, the, sad, the sad part is that we love all the great comments, and 95% of the people love what you do. Yeah. But the problem is um, those 5% or that one person that says, are oh, you such a toss, it hurts. No, no, it doesn't hurt. Uh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, the thing is, Rob, if, if I know I'm correct in, in the, the way which I brought myself across in being, being honest about something, I'm not going to feel bad at it. I mean, there's one guy in, in, I think you watched that, that, that JA's retaliation video, which I actually made. And there's one guy who, yeah, he swore my family and he went about, he said, you fat bastard, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. At least I. I don't have to worry about protecting my wife. Do you think somebody's going to hassle my wife if they see me 
No, they are not. The thing uh, is, but it doesn't phase me because I got such a good, can I say, um, self built. Um, yes, no, I, I understand, and and I, I I totally understand where you're coming from. Uh, I also don't really give a shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to answer a question here. Cosmic says, does Rob ever use his flashy vapor? It's an RTA which I picked up in Stuttgart. It's one of those tall German top tanks, and the answer is no, I don't really. I just found it was too tight for me. Um, I've chatted to some fans, and they say I must drill, take a drill, and drill out holes. I got no, I don't play with. I'm not allowed to even use screwdrivers in the house, so I'm not going to take a drill to a to a RTA. <laughs> yeah, you guys must post questions. Sorry, I mean we we will start looking know, at the chats to, as we well. We missed all the questions. He has he has another. This one's a very hard to get mod. This is the Voyeur. It's a, a mechanical squonker. Um, really hard to get, beautifully made. But to get one, you you almost physically got to make friends with um, Victor. But you, what would you rather prefer? Regulated high end, mech high end? Probably regulated. Mm. Um, and the only reason is because you can use the same, the coils are, you know, if you, if you, if you're going mech, you've actually got to build your coil according to what you want. Yeah. Whereas <clears throat> if it's a regulated, you can bung in your normal coil and you can play with the, 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 the wattage yourself. No, no, that's right. Yeah. yeah it's fine, if finally you get to a point where you build your own coils like, like me, I mean, if I know, if I'm making some frame staples and I use 28s on the outside, three nichrome ribbons and a 40 gauge, then I know it's going to come in at 0 0.24 ohm single. And then if I double it, 0 0.12, then I know exactly. But I mean, yeah, it's true that you say, I mean, a guy just going into vaping, starting with Mex, he must be smoking some real hash, transcape oh, yeah. poison. Well, that, that, that being said, I mean, I, 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 I used Rios for probably the first two or three years of my vaping career. Yeah. And that, um, and they're still fantastic. You know, everyone makes a big hoo-ha about 3D printed squonkers. Now, that's another pet hate of me, mine. I hate 3D printed anything. You know, to me, anything 3D printed is definitely not uh, high end. Even even the Monarch or the Bolt. Uh, well, the new Monarch's not 3D printed, eh? Is it? No. Is it? Uh... It's injected. Okay. And CNC. Yeah. All right. I, I, I held off getting a Monarch for a long time um, because of the 3D and all that stuff. And then I was at Survape the other day and I had a really good look at these because I, I quite like the look of them. Um, and it's really, I recommend this. If you're looking for a, a decent uh, mechanical squonker, I'd get a Monarch. I really would. I just so, feel uh, the mechanical squonkers are, are so, um, can I say, so restricted in the designs that basically all boxed shaped. If you look at them, they might have a curve on this side, they might have an edge on that side, rounded, yeah, that's it. But I mean, uh, they've all got that, can I say, template design, all of them. This is the armor. This, this will flip on MMM for $2,000. If you can believe that. But see, that, that makes me think of the Furion again. From Lost Vapes. That, that shape, yes. shape-wise. Yes, yes. I'm sure they copied it. I, I'm positive they, they saw the design and said, oh, that's a beautiful shape. Yeah. So I asked Andrew. Yeah, no, this is a... This was given to me by uh, Shane. From uh, Juicy Joe's. This is, I think, uh, one of the juices which they released. But uh, yeah, it's a nice... Nice, mild, laid-back strawberry donut. Nothing like a smack in the face <laughs> type of flavor profile. So what else have you got there, Rob? Um, one of my favorite mods, the, the that's Droid. My, that's mine, which you're borrowing. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah a, that's an excellent mod. I was uh, at the Modest Gallery in Paris last year, and I was chatting to Mark Todd, and he said to me, get one of these. I should have listened and bought the ball because out of all your mods that's the one i'm looking for that's the one i will buy as soon as it comes up is the vape droid 
but there's only 200 made of them and heaven knows why they did it yeah why do rob why do they stop you you speak to these guys why Not do they only bring stuff. out a certain amount and then they stop with it i mean it's all sold out wouldn't yeah. it be logic just to bring out an extra 100 or 500 or something like that? yeah it's crazy i don't get it i mean i emailed them and said wtf you know it's so popular why don't you make more and they kind of just said no they're not making anymore so yeah near yes like there's it you can't hate all 3d stuff rob ronaldo what? says because my my beads are 3d printed thank oh, yeah, you no. very much for that <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah. There's things my, like that it's perfect, my beads. <laughs> 100 percent uh ronaldo 100 these things uh, don't help a lot yeah but yeah no 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 he's just probably kidding i mean a 3d Maurice printed mod which is local which is actually very nice is, is this guy i mean it, 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 that's why i didn't go for the monarch because i mean these things all look the same but yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, i'm not too worried Maurice Dupri <coughs> asked me do i consider the lost wave mods as high end no i don't <coughs> they mass produce but that's not to say I don't think they are bloody marvelous. I think the Lost Vape Mirage DNA 75 is a fantastic mod. I think it's really brilliant. Um, and uh, so it's, it's not high end, definitely, because it's mass produced. But it's a great mod. I'm, I, I, I'll keep this one. <laughs> so is that where you draw the limit with amount produced? Because, I mean, that is obviously a quality mod. Yeah, it is a quality mod, absolutely. But it's yeah. made in China. And that's why you... And it's mass produced. So where do you reckon most of your high-end mods, um, the best quality comes from? Europe, Asia, Greece, Indonesia? All of America. the above. All of, all of the above. I mean, here's my... This is also DNA 75 scene. This is a bar v3 this is made by midnight mods in um the us beautiful again fantastic guy Pro makes you a promise sticks to that promise and the uh, quality is outstanding um while we've got this out this is the new evo um from malaysia this was one of the prototypes that I think was given to me in stuttgart and the FOMO for this is huge and they actually released them yesterday. Um, it's a sub, it's a high end sub ohm tank. <clears throat> but I, I see there's some of the companies because you've posted quite a few photos of your stabilized wood blocks or resin blocks. Mm. Are the companies which actually have this have got a catalog and you go and pick which one you want and then they make it from that specific block. Yeah. From yeah scratch. They're, they're probably four or five well known um, stab wood makers um there, there are a couple in russia and a couple in america and then dotted down there and everywhere but because you, you've got to be pretty careful because when the modder gets to it and starts um manipulating it a lot of the modders won't accept blocks from people yeah because yeah. all that happens is they start working with the block and the block breaks um i don't know if you ever saw that fantastic teal stab wood block that I had no no oh it's I've been holding on to it and holding on to it for a couple of years now and um waiting for the right mod to be made and I'm having a it's currently in Malaysia being made into a solar storm for me is it is it um oh. there's a couple of questions over here um extremely expensive from Andrew Troutland yeah I mean they've I think they have they've got to start at a certain price to be regarded as high end nothing below i think 200 dollars is going to be considered high end am i right when you talk about yeah. mods yeah 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 so yeah 200 up i would say and then would real mods count as as high um end i think you've already un uh, answered that anton rob said no <laughs> i say yes especially because mine has got a batman engraved on it now it is high end um there you go this is high end now <laughs> you want to see a high in rio show show them that engraved in rio yeah 
Yo. Okay, now you guys pick. What is the nicest engraving? The, oh, the case or <laughs> this one by a country mile. <laughs> this, 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 in fact, is the only model <laughs> that I've got insured on all risks for going out with. Yeah, this one's on my insurance policy. But I see you're starting to to work off that that uh, luminum. Your engraving is starting to get shallow on that that rear, huh? No, it's been no, it's just, <laughs> no. I sent it back to Jacques, and he put more black in and tidied it up for me. Okay. The problem when I vape, I sit and I hold the mod all day, and the body sweat and juices does does things to mods. That that's one of the reasons why you'll invariably find me with a Juma mod because they stand up to being held all day beautifully. Listen, Veronica, Veronica wants to know if uh, you consider the Cave Fun RTA as high end. Yeah, it is. The authentic. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, the authentic, yeah. Yeah. Certainly not. Um, what is it? Shout out Tyrone. Shout out from Kimberly. Hi there. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Now that's that. Now oh, you want to see? I'll, you want to see a Cave Fun? Yeah, I yeah, know. You sure? There are people that might not know what it looks like. That's the K-Fun 5 Square. That's their newest one. That's the first K-Fun that they ever brought out that's a direct lung RTA. Beautiful. Matt, it's really big. The engineering is fantastic. It vapes beautifully. Great tank. Yeah, Vaping Brew wants to know whether you have got all your HE stuff insured. Uh, yeah. And, and they are sold contents or is it specified? Yeah. No, the only, the only spe specified one is the Rio. Okay. Um, I Sean, he's Kurs Roos. Yeah, aluminium takes a beating in the hand. Yeah. There's that Kurs Roos, the man that did the etching. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Jacques. <Wade. laughs> Jacques. Jacques Gemeltebu. <laughs> now, now, other thing I wanted to ask you is how many of your purchases do you hide from your wife? Uh, these days, not. I don't really <laughs> hide them anymore. It's too difficult. But you well, did. <laughs> well, the nice thing is that the courier guy comes almost every day. So it's become the norm. <laughs> so if the courier guy doesn't pitch up, then... You just everyone... probably tell us some more tips. Here's some more batteries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some more battery wraps. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the rounds, 3,000 yeah. rand, boom. Or 3,000 dollars, boom. <laughs> That is crazy. Um, will you talk about custom drip tips too, especially Hadley drip tips? Chris, it is that guy, Chris Roos, who does the custom Hadley drip tips. But as I said, I think I've... <laughs> Just looky, looky there. Looky, looky. <laughs> yeah, no, he's got enough. But that's not your only... You've got a lot more than that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's... Now, that's just the teaser. Yeah, that's the teaser. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the ones that are currently being used. They're, those are all the new ones from Cyan Mods in the UK. Is it? Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, yeah, I would be too afraid to walk around with a setup which I know is probably worth fifteen to twenty thousand rand. I, I'd, I'd shit my pants in South Africa. I mean, don't you see people looking at you a bit skiff and a few blocks they walk behind you and you think they're going to smack you over the head to steal it? No, not when they see. Plumes of vapor coming out. <laughs> Smoke screen, which you can disappear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I, yeah. You know, I've just got to the stage. Yeah, I mean, I'm, if I go fishing, I will take, I will take my Mirage and uh, one of my cheaper tanks because I've dropped two vapes into in Ander Dam and one cell phone into Kudatro Dam. Yeah. Um, and that gets really expensive. So, yeah, if I go out fishing, I will take a cheaper mod. But if I go out, what I you know, I want, that's what I want. Now, do you do you think that um, the high-end gear, owning high-end gear, has caused a riff um, in South Africa regarding... I'm going to say there's a, there's a lot of people who use m mediocre mods. Yeah. And when they see somebody with a high end, they immediately pissed off. <laughs> yeah. 
Do you do it, you get that experience when you communicate no. with people? A year ago, absolutely. When when I started introducing high end onto the onto the forum, there was a lot of uh, yeah. Really I remember famous. that, yeah. Um, and I can understand it. It's just you know, people who can't afford it, they're jealous. I mean, just like I see a guy drive past in that red Ferrari. I, you know, I wish I could be him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but nowadays, I think what's happened in the last year is a lot of people have understood the intrinsic value of high end. They love the idea that they are carrying a one of a kind. Um, they are really happy that nobody else has got a mod exactly like theirs. Yeah. And they're just really starting to appreciate high end. And what's happening is, even the guys who are not really well off what they do is they they decide what they want they save up for it they go and they get that one particular mod and they're really really happy with it mm. uh, i mean if you look at the number of people owning high-end gear in south africa today compared to a year ago it's probably about a four million percent increase you know 18 months ago i think there were probably three or four people with high-end devices now I mean, you just got to look on the forum. Go and look at the um, what's in your hand thread. And there's everyone. A lot of people have got high-end gear now. They might not have as many, but they'll have, they'll choose one particular yeah. one, and it gives them the most, utmost joy. And I'm sure a better fate because it's yeah. a lot of a lot of all of this is up here. It's all in our mind. And I think what you're going through is exactly the same what I'm going through when I take my wife out somewhere. I mean, I know she's beautiful. I know she's charismatic. I know she's got a fantastic personality. The thing is, it's not about boasting. It's about you being proud. And that's, and that's why you post such a lot of photos and, and threads about HE gear because you're so proud of it and not the intent to make somebody else with a smock stick feel bad. Oh, absolutely. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and also, you want to show people what's out there. Yeah, of course. You know, know. It's like going to a car show. I don't want to go and look at uh Toyota, Toyota Corollas. I want to go and look at all. I want to see everything. I want to see what's available. Yeah. So yeah, no. At the end of the day, um, Meraki is definitely HE Anton. For sure, that's HE. No question. But the, the fact that we've got an interview in any case, me with you at the moment, it just shows you that. I mean, because I, I look at Vaping Brew, he's mentioning somebody. It's a bit of an elitist club. Of course I mean, it is. Of course it's an elitist club. It's this... no, nobody's arguing that fact one bit. Yeah. Of course it is. I mean, you've got your Porsche club. You've got. I mean, when, when I go to Kilani, uh, I can see there's a there's a Mercedes stand, there's a BMW stand, there's an Audi stand. The thing is, these guys are all there. You know, so I've got no problem with it. None at all. I mean, you're sitting there vaping on something which probably cost five times more than this, but it doesn't bother me at all. I'm not worried about it. But then, then again, as, as most of the people say, um, Jacob Creek also says, that's why it's subjective. And that's regarding anything. In any case, that link to your mindset um, is what's going to make you happy in vaping and what's not, I think. 100%. So, yeah. And it also took you probably just as long as what it took me to find out what, I'm, what I enjoy. and what I, I mean, this thing, according to me, is amazing. You probably got rid of your e-petite long time ago. No, I, I loved that mod. But I, I mean, absolutely loved it. But one of my one of my converts um, needed his his mod broke, and he really wanted mine. So uh, I just want to answer there. They think he said yes, but it doesn't make anyone better than other people. Of course, it doesn't. Absolutely, of course, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, that's you, a, you agreed a, to this interview, and you know I don't own I. So that's just. Exactly the, what we're trying to prove is 100%. Else you would have said no, no, because I know there is a, a South African reviewer at, which do, does review high end gear. Then you would have said no, no, you're going to say oh, there is one. Um, he's the guy that owns, owns the vaping company of uh, what's it, Lung Brewery? No, he, he doesn't, uh, he's not just high end. Yeah, his new, his new vaping channel is high end, I think. He vapes, he reviews high end stuff. You must go and watch. When last did you watch some of his videos? No, I haven't. <laughs> yes. 
Has he started making videos again? He, yeah, he's he's he started a H H E um, brand. Oh, okay. not, not start a brand, but I mean he's starting to to review H E stuff. Yeah. Oh, great. So that's why you're talking to me because you didn't know about him. Is that what you're trying to say now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else is there? End of the day, it's about the same thing. Staying off those stinkies. Yeah, Sean. Ach, it all, it's always about that. Um, still think the dead rabbit is high end, but it's cheap Chinese made. I don't know, Tim. Tim. <laughs> they, I know there's a dead rabbit has got a lot of fans. Drops got a lot of fans. I think oh, they, there's, nothing, there's nothing to say that all non high end stuff is shit. That's no, not the not. case at all. Not at all. I mean, I've got what am I using here? What's this? This is what's this one? Sentinel. Yeah, no, it's not a Sentinel. It's a it's a Chinese one, man. Reload or a no, revolver a or something. I don't know what. Is it, looks a like, it looks like the top airflow of, uh, from the the Sentinel. No, it's not. So unscrew it. You look at the bottom. Isn't the name on there? Oh yeah, hang on a second. Check on it, yeah. But I mean, I watched the review on Vaping Fagan's new um. Uh, it's got no name. RDA. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, but it is. That's that's the reloads. Um... Yes. Yes. Yeah, reload, I think. But why doesn't yours have knurling at the top? It does. Oh, it's because I've got a drip tip and an adapter on the top. Oh, no wonder. Because, I mean, mine's got the knurling. So, yeah, yeah. That, that caught me off guard. Yeah. And, I mean, that new one of Vaping Fagan... <laughs> Yeah, that's a strange thing. I mean, I, I actually wanted to buy it. I saw a company which is which is selling it, and they will have stock tomorrow in South Africa. Um, it's got a it's got a small name, not another dripping atomer, another is it something like that, written in Iron Maiden type font. But that's Vaping Fagan's new RDA. Ah, uh, yes, yes, and, I saw um, that. It 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 wasn't received too well by the vapors, but I mean, that's like it, and that's that's the whole thing why why I don't like about these RDAs coming out. They they use so much of previous hits, um, especially the build decks. And that's what the drop dead also is also doing. That's why I'm not interested in that. So you're yeah. either going to love the drop or you're going to love the dead rabbit. And then I see there's no point in buying the drop dead. And the same with this one from Vaping Fagan. But what yeah. bothered me about that one, I don't know if you've seen it though. Yes, I have. It's got these airflow. It's, it's either top or it's bottom airflow or middle or bottom airflow. But it's got these things. That hit the coils directly yeah and that i don't find too bright your and ear must actually pass your coils when it comes from underneath the only point when it strikes your coils directly is, is for cooling but i mean if you've yeah. got a 25 millimeter rda the thing's not going to heat up that quick in now any the case reviews that haven't amount given of airflow i would have just haven't give the haven't given the drop yet a very good uh rating no 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 at two no not at all um Oh, Peter Maria says he only did one or two reviews on HE um, stuff. Okay, well, I thought the guy was... Because um, it, it is Jacques. Jacques told me about this guy. HE is anything above what you as an individual want to pay for it. Not elitism. Kevin, yeah, I don't know. The thing is, if, if I have to buy something and I can only get it via a specific route, which normally is Facebook, <laughs> and I see... That it is going to take a good chunk of my salary <laughs> that according to me is high end whether it's got the quality of high end i've got no, no idea but yeah that's the only problem which I've, I've got with high end is the availability but i can understand why they do it make no mistake uh, look make make no error this whole high end harping promo is a carefully um orchestrated business I mean, a classic example is the new bridge from that Swiss company called Crossbow. They've been harping it, and list is coming, and uh, and I ordered one. It's a bloody expensive bridge. It's the most expensive bridge by far. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to hate it because I think it's going to be too tight for me. But the the companies they create FOMO, they create the harp, and yeah, I, I mean, I saw a message just now. Somebody saying, yeah. The harp, they don't always live up to the harp. And absolutely, that's why I've become very much more picky on the stuff that I buy. Yeah. Look, I buy the Chinese stuff because I like to review it and I like to see 
I, I like to test it and see how close they're getting to to high end RTAs, etc. And they're getting very close. I mean, some of these new RTAs and RDAs are fantastic. Mm. Um, but yeah, this hot, the hot, the high end game is all about the hard. It's all about the hard to get. It's all about getting on list. It's, and some people say, "Ah, oh, stuff it. I'm not interested. I'm not prepared to do that." And that's fine. I see. I see. Viping Brews has brought up the gloom. Um, I don't know how you feel about. Do you consider Limelight as I end Limelight's yes. products? Yes. Isn't even yeah. this? Because I would. I would definitely say this pipe of mine. This is I end. Yeah. I mean, this is handcrafted so. walnut. It's absolutely stunningly done. But the gloom on the other hand, to me, I mean, I use the gloom extremely comfortable, but I wouldn't regard the gloom. The gloom as a as a high end, it is, isn't? Oh yeah, particularly if you look at some of the the, the free hands coming out now, the, they are absolutely beautiful. I mean, the the finish on that stab wood and the and the hybrids and the resin, yeah, they're beautiful. Personally, I had the I I, I had the black one, I had the white one, the white one, yeah, and I and I got myself a beautifully um, made. Uh, Stabwood one. It's for me. It's a bit difficult because I'm not a big squonker anymore, and they they're all squonkers. Yeah. Um, and Craig from Survey desperately wanted the the Stabwood one. He loves it to bits, and and he's got a lot of devices, and and I see him. He uses it all the time. I was never a great fan. I tell you, if you want, if you want a high end squonker. This is the one to get. Uh, now is that now be shazant? Oh my God! This, <laughs> this, DNA seventy five C. Yeah. And if you look at the quality of this, this is the. I was lucky enough to get a stormtrooper edition. Yeah. I promise you, this is a beautiful, beautiful squonker. But that I would I would classify vicious and products as 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 high end. Yeah, they are. Because always are. superior <laughs> quality, and uh, and they're available at more vendors than just one or a Facebook <laughs> page. You've actually yeah. got more access to actually purchasing. And the real high end part of this is on the top. <laughs> Ooh, the Skyfall. Now, that is a piece of engineering. Ah. It really, I, I, it's hellish expensive. But oh my word, you're never gonna get a RDA that's made like this. But, it is, but what is Alice expensive in Rand? Two and a half thousand? No, this was I think it was three thousand two hundred. Holy mother of nipple stands. Yeah. <laughs> that is a, that is a lot. I so so I think I'll just I'll just wait. Can I can I have some tea? I've got still got my coffee here. Thanks. Does baby chew make tea these days? No, that's <laughs> that Mrs. That Mrs. Vapor. <laughs> that's right. Quickly see there, yeah, the vicious and spade dibs on that. Yeah, that's a vaping blue. That, that's one thing in South happen. Africa. There's always dibs everywhere. Yeah, this this is a keeper. It's uh, um, for some reason I'm I'm really attached to this. I love I love the stormtrooper look and feel and the quality is fantastic now while we've got so many people interested in high end what is up for sale soon on your your list your collection uh i, I don't really like selling <laughs> because i always sell it at a loss anyway i always sell it way below the cost and ugh. but your skyfall you won't sell oh no never ever is it this is this is serial number 66 so I must start focusing on SA Vape Gear and uh, Christos. And uh, no, Christos doesn't. Uh, no, they won't sell. <laughs> they won't sell. And that's that's the beauty of something like this. I mean, I've got a Nada, I've got a Nava. Those I would sell. This never. Now I think I'm I must just invite the four of you over who's got Skyfalls. You guys underestimate the power of Clip Drift Brandy. Good bright Clip Drift, I can, I can guarantee you, two of you guys will sell yours by the end of the evening to me. 
especially if you use the, the coffee gold. You know that they've got a fancy gold one? It's a, it's a coffee brandy. No. But it's a, oh, Klipdruf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That stuff's dangerous. There's nothing wrong with Klipdruf. No, absolutely. Yeah, this Cameron says, I will have a stab wood mod eventually. They look cool for sure. Yeah, I remember you get stab woods and you get stab woods. I've got a stab wood mod, which is actually, I thought it was actually good, but at the end of the day, it's not that good. I think oh, this, yeah, guy, yeah. this guy could have forget that. This is just holding my twisted messes. But I mean, yeah. this, this guy, mm -mm. That, the thing is, you, you know where that should be? In the bin. No, in the gorge. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it was such a nice little, but it's starting to give me hassles. And I thought, just yes. so yeah, you get stab wood and you get stab wood. That's the whole very much message so. of that story over there. MOSFET very and switch so. on the gloom had some issues in some mods, but the new RAM board will sort that out. Timji, do you th not think if we had a titanium dead rabbit, that would make it high end? Uh, it would make it expensive, but it wouldn't make it high end. <laughs> titanium dead rabbit. Yeah, I saw the titanium. Hadley the other day. Mm -hmm. But what's the difference, Rob? Stainless well, titanium. Why would you yeah, go for titanium? The idea of it. Yeah, because it, it's more exclusive and more elitist. Yeah. So but then again, also personal preference thing. Nothing to do with you're going to get better flavor out of that titanium or it's going to last you three years longer. Although really. it might. It might. Uh, I mean, my favorite bridge for the um, bullet box is still the Otis Flow, the titanium flow. Because, I mean, there's probably a reason why they use t titanium to do heat replacements and collarbone yeah, replacements and rip. These things just don't oxidize. Yes. So it's got to do with yeah. that. Um, I mean, this is my favorite bullet box. Look at that. Now, that is a stunning bullet box. And then inside. It's got a one of only two gold titanium flows in the world. But Rob, that still doesn't justify eight thousand rand for me. Oh, it didn't cost me eight thousand. Oh, you mean the bullet for the whole thing? Yeah. I mean, I, I know it's a very, very good device. It's it's fairly obvious if if there's so many people that's got so much good to say about it, it has to be a good device. But eight thousand rand, good. Couldn't you sell that same quality for four or five thousand, maybe? Yeah, they probably could. Okay, so tell us something about a few of your high-end busts. Um, I don't. The only busts are um, RDAs. I mean, I've got some high-end RDAs, and but but it's not really fair to to call them busts because I'm not a dude. Thank you. I'm not a huge RDA fan, and I've got some which I really dislike. So yeah, like Anton says, are there any other mods that have gone to your gorge? Uh, not in the high end range, no. <laughs> but lots of cases, <laughs> lots of probably, Chinese mods. Yeah, they're all Chinese mods. Yeah. And have you got any, have you got any smocks and Asmodus in your collection at the moment? Or Vaporeso or uh... yeah, Vaporeso I've got. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've got. Uh... There's a Vaporeso there. There you go. I've got the Armor Pro, which is brilliant, uh -huh. really, really nice. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks sleek. Yeah. yeah. Um... But it makes me think of the 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 the, 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 the Primo, the Evic. Yeah. No, it's much nicer than the Primo. Is it? Uh, much nicer. Yeah. Because maybe I've still got my Snowwolf. Okay. My R100, 150, my R200. And that's about it. I still got a smock alien, which, I, I, which I, works. I, I hate, I hate all smock <laughs> products. <laughs> and I've still got a predator as well. So yeah, no, <laughs> no man. There's a, there's a, there's a few smock items which, which actually work. But the thing is, obviously, if, I, if you bring out so much as what they do. I just want to, I just want to answer the vaping greed says here, 
now that I don't get the BB Authentics, I can get an SXK version for way less, and I heard that bullets are machined in China and assembled in the US. That, <laughs> my mate, is dog shit. Absolute horse crap. Elaborate. Bullets are milled and made and designed and built and packaged and sold in America completely 100%. I'll bet you 8 million rand. I know that for a fact. And yes, you can get an SSK version for way less because the, the Chinese stole the intellectual property and just did a copy. I rest my case. Yeah. Yes, as Jock says, Coors Ruiz says, yeah, it's a tiny production, it's an interesting metal. Yeah, no, 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 it's, a, it's an amazing metal. I mean, I've still got a set of dots made out of pure titanium, which I'm extremely happy of. 21 grams, I will tell you. You hit the bull, every one out of 10 dots. <laughs> <laughs> so for sure. When Rob was trying all those ceramic walls, yeah, there's another thing, ceramic. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. There you are. C-cell in a Mellow 3 Mini on an Evic, uh, what the hell is this thing called? The Joytech Evic Primo Mini. And yeah, somebody mentions Damascus Steel, Vaping Brew. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not a fan because that's just ridiculously expensive. Your camera looks beautiful. My camera? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anyone else is also seeing it. Looks like the old SABC has gone off signal at 12 o'clock at night. Oh. Yeah, you've got these enormous amount of stripes across the screen. Anybody oh. else picking it up? Which is just me. I'm relaxed working, bro. Yeah, Cameron, I'll try. I'll try mesh. Mesh is actually fascinate fascinates me, but I just haven't seen an atomizer which I would think works well with mesh at the moment. Uh, um, the the new Vaporesso uh -huh. got a mesh coil in it. Is it? Yeah. Because the first ones they it's, brought out uh, took so much cotton on the inside. It was ridiculous. Very nice. Yeah, Rob, I say you've gone off signal. Oh, uh, have I? Yeah, quickly take. Well, I mean, you've still got some, but you're black and white at the top. Your middle there's gray at the bottom. So what can I do? No, no, just quickly disable your camera and uh, enable it again on Skype. How's that? Ah, there you go. There's the answer man again. <laughs> nice to be with you. Uh, who likes my Ali D2 coffee cup? So yeah, all in all, if your whole HE collection got stolen, what amount would it take to get it all back again? If it was available, if you had the contacts, roughly, just to give these guys idea that you're not playing around. Oh no, but I think they know I'm not playing around. Um, now for the international guys now, who's actually joined? Probably three or four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, for the international guys, we're not talking about three or four hundred rand or dollars. We're talking about the K one, ne? the 300-400K. We, we're launching to half a million now. Two Toyota Auruses. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it is, it is but it is definitely. Uh, you know, and, and, and people say to me, you're mental. How can you, how, how can you justify that? Um, my answer is yes, I am mental. And I'll tell you how I justify it. You can't if afford five it. Five years ago, I didn't switch to vaping. I'd be spending millions on hospital bills and oxygen. Amen to that. That's true, yeah. That, That's that true. is my justification. Yeah. I guess it's the same. When I mean, I buy a mod and it costs me a thousand off or two thousand rand. And my wife asked me, why? Why do you need it? To say, well, it's a hobby of mine. I enjoy it, and I, because of the money I've saved, and that's and that's the other part of it. I love this community. Yeah, I love. I just love the whole vaping scene. I love vape meets. I love going to the vape shops and talking shit to people. I love hand checks on the forums. I, and VapeCon is going to be something else. Two days of just vaping uh, yeah fantastic i mean i'm really 
I, I love the community. This is a hobby, and it's good for me, and it saved my life. Do you think? Do you think that now that um, vaping brew mentions it, do you think that vaping legislation is going to catch ground in South Africa? I think some of it will. I think some of it will, but I I, I can't believe that um, it will go in in the way it's. Uh, it's not possible. I mean, it would be it's moronic enough as it is with all the crap that we have from people anti vaping people, but. Yeah. Um, look, I think legislation is coming, but just in exactly what form it's going to come is uh, remains to be seen. Um, I think a certain amount of regulation is needed. Um, but just, yeah, but you never know. I mean, with this government, I mean, this, the, the kind of rules that they make, they, they're all money-making rules. Yeah, but that's why I say the part of the legislation concerned with finances, I think yeah. that they will pay attention to. Big time. They they couldn't care less if you're killing yourself. They just want their they they just want tax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just want they just want money. Yeah. Um Yara yeah, Andrew, yeah, it is uh, the vaping community in South Africa I generally find is an extremely friendly bunch of guys. Very nice. Um Good evening, all producers. I'm Tom from the Netherlands. Hi there, Tom. Does the Netherlands, by the way, have any mods which they have released, any atomizers which you know of? No, no, but they've got they've got pretty friendly um, vaping laws in the Netherlands, as far as I know, because um, I've got a I've got a mate in Germany who wants red pull, and I said, oh, don't worry, I'll ship it to you. And she said, no, you, uh, and I've tried to ship stuff to Germany before. Don't ever try and ship anything to Germany from outside the EU, because. Uh. I lost an authentic skyline because I sent a skyline to Germany for gold plating, got to customs, and they wanted something like 5,000 Rand customs oh, duty. So I said, oh, bugger off and send it back. And of course, it just disappeared. Um, so I'm sending the juice to the Netherlands, and they will send it to Germany. Yeah, but I think the Netherlands have got a lot of accommodating laws in any case regarding yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the land of the free. <laughs> That's the land of the free over there. Okay, let's get some questions, guys. I'm sure there's some more HE questions which you guys guys have got to ask. Any of you guys got some HE stuff? Boasty with the mod, the, the 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 mods which you have and the atomizers which you have. I still think my Hadleys are authentic. Um, can I say my authentic Hadleys are HE? They Just are. The, the reputation of the goon, I would classify the goon as HE as well. But no. the original OG goon, no. that's me. That's me because I have one. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, I watched that, that Vapor DNA website which you actually mentioned. Um, they just don't get stuff quick enough, Rob, for you to actually build up a $200 purchase to get that. Just buy two DNA 250s. The new they they've got the 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 blue. No, they don't. They do. No, they don't. I I, I no no. I emailed the guy. I asked him. I said, listen, if because I wanted that blue paranormal. Yes. And I asked him, listen, if I buy it, can I get the blue one? And they said, no, only the color available under the options. And when you go there, it says pull, um, gunmetal pull. Yes. And the gunmetal pull is not the blue one. It is. It's that got blue one is. The blue one is just for advertisement purposes. No. 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 Now you order it for me. If it's the blue one, I'm buying it from you. If it's not, you keep it. Okay. Cool. I'm, I'm serious about way. that. It's on its way. I'll, I'll have it. Uh, I bought two last night. Okay. And if it's, if it's the blue one, can I buy one of them from you? No, the other one is uh, for somebody else. <laughs> But, you, but you're gonna get a big one. Dibs, you put dibs on it anyway. Who's this? Uh, okay. One of the guys on the forum. He wanted me to get it for him because he's. The problem with vapor DNA is you've got to enter your credit card and you've got to go through a whole authentication. It's actually a big runaround. Okay. Um, and it, especially if you're from outside the country. I don't know if it's the same if you're an American, but um, but I went through all that pain and anguish. So my credit card works happily on vapor dna okay let's quickly see what's going on over here um what's the difference in performance with the he and the lower end andrew i i mentioned that question earlier or that situation earlier because i mean this is definitely not high end 
but when I press the button, it fires. Is Plus. it what? Is what uh, chips that got? No, no, this is DNA seventy five. Yeah, yeah. Then there will be very little difference between between that and a an HE. Yeah, yeah. It's it's all about what makes you feel good when it comes to HE. Can you afford it? Yeah, Does it make you feel the, cool? except that the DNA seventy five C and the two fifty C are really really good chips, and you actually can feel the difference when you buy. All right. And then there's Rob. Why don't we have any HE mod makers in South Africa from Arius? Because we've hardly got any mod makers, period. <laughs> well, I mean, the the, the, the Shemus is great quality. Yeah. This, yeah. I mean, you. I don't know if you still got your. Yeah, I have. But this is awesome quality, this specific guy. I've, I, I sent him a piece of stab wood. He made mine's a, a stab wood Shemus. Yeah. But no, they've said, but why otherwise do you think, do you think it's finances? Do you think it's the guys not being creative enough, don't have the time? Why isn't South Africa bringing out with all, all our engineers, which we have? Oh, I mean, I, I think it's because all of them have got other jobs. They play around as a hobby. They create something. I mean, Jacques a perfect example. I mean, he's got the potential to make gypsies for the world. I yeah. mean, I Oh, he should be making gold studded diamond drip tips and uh, all fancy drip tips, but his jewelry business is where he makes his living. The only reason he, he, that he had so much time to work on drip tips and stuff was because he had an issue with his gold license. But I mean, he's just too busy, and, and, and at the end of the day, he's got to feed his family. So he's yeah. going to look and say, okay, I can make X per hour making jewelry or making drip tips where there's not that much margin in it because i mean they're, they're all handmade yeah tim g has asked me what is the lowest build on a tube mech i have tried um tube mech not that low but the tube box the rear i ran a 0 0.09 ohms that is the lowest on a mech but the mech tube I think it's around 0 0.145 or something like that. But yeah, it's because I'm not that comfortable with a tube. Not that I think the thing is going to blow up when I press it there. But I mean, everyone, every bled. And I mean, I, I at science at school, I understand ohms and amperes and wattages and resistance. I understand all those things. But every bloody video which you watch, it's just make sure you know ohms law. Then they start, you start second guessing yourself. And think to yourself, yeah, what is it now? If I'm going to press this, is it going to explode? Where is the venting? <laughs> Am I missing something? That, that, see, that's the problem. So I'm too afraid to go down too low. Well, why would you want to anyway? It's same here, yeah. My, my happy place is around 0 0.15, 50 to 60 watt. Baby. Yeah. That, that's where I'm happy. So. Uh, Jacob Creek said, who would buy a diamond studded drip tip? Rob would. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> if, if you saw some of the high-end stuff that gets sold to Saudi Arabia and Japan that would answer your question because I guarantee you that gold um, and diamonds vape gear is sold to Saudi Arabia and to, uh, to the Middle East and to the Far East oh I was going to he asked Mark this, this is a <clears throat> that's gold it's a it's got a rose gold ring in it that was made by jacques jacques is that pure gold yeah mm. okay there's a what what he vape setups are there what cheap he vapes vape set setups are there like any mech yeah i think your mech tubes would probably be the cheapest high-end mod which you're gonna get it's gonna be a lot cheaper than your high-end boxes or your high-end regulators am i right yeah because i mean there was a guy that advertised i think he's got an advertisement on the vape forums where he's got a few vicious end mods which he's selling oh and those I, were that, those were bonuses yeah and if, it, if i just if i just look at his tube is the cheapest and then he's got another one which is slightly more expensive but i mean of all of them so i'm not sure what is the cheapest high end which you have seen rob um Probably two hundred dollars 
for some some of the older mods. Is it? They, they come up for sale from time to time. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if I couldn't afford high end, I would I would buy myself a Mirage. Yeah. From Lost Play. It's a DNA seventy five, beautifully made, and it works perfect and it looks good. That's what I'd buy. Now, out of all your setups, which one do you not? Is the one do you, is it that one do you use the most? So yeah, yeah. it's it's kind of it's it's probably the smallest one of the smallest regulated uh, mods around. Um, it's beautifully made. I I love the mod maker. Um, Nicholas Fu is a first class human. Um, never lies, tells the truth, um, he's up front and, and the quality is fantastic. And, and every single one he makes, he writes a little story about them. Um, and, and I love the, the semi-precious stone he puts as the fire button. Dennis asks, what is your opinion on the Triad 250C DNA mod going to be released? I hope you're going to answer that. Well, I mean, I've always wanted, I, I don't own a three battery mod in any case. So I, it's actually something I would actually go for, believe it or not. Um, just for those cloud cloud comps <laughs> to get some power underneath my, my atomizer and produce some serious clouds. But I don't see it as a go between. I think it's going to be too big and too uncomfortable. Um, yeah. It's, it's about the size of this, obviously, but this has the squong bottle inside of it. So I don't mind carrying this guy around because it's got that convenience. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Sean asked a question here. Um, what's my most expensive AT device? The most expensive one I ever bought was one of the very first ones I bought. It was a, a, um, a Mythos. It was a 26650 and it had Damascus and all that fancy steel uh, and uh, and that cost me an arm and leg. I don't even want to say what it cost me because it's embarrassing. And I actually, it was way too big. I'll show, I've got another one which I picked up really cheap. Hold on. Okay, why? Well, yeah. That's a mythos. But my one had all very expensive um, Damascus, Damascus, and all that kind of stuff on it, and that cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, I eventually sold it at half the price because it's just too big. I mean, it's massive. I mean, I can't even get my hand around it. So my current, my current most expensive mod is the Solar Storm. They land after that and shipping and all that at about 14,000. Yeah. But it's because it takes a guy how long to make one of those things. Yeah. So yeah. you must also take that into account. Yeah. Okay. The Vaping Brewer has got a question for you. Good MTL device, which you would recommend because he knows I'm not into my RTAs. I can't really give advice on MTL because I hate MTL more, more than life itself. Direct um, lung, that's the way, eh? that's the way to go. For, yeah, for me it is. Yeah, you know, um, uh, same, same, same here. And it's the thing that I hate so much about all these pod systems is most of them are MTL. Yeah. And in fact, I hate all pod systems. All pod systems suck and but, Nixon suck. But but that one um, atomizer which you actually sent, Jock, uh, where's Kurs Roost? Did you go and sleep again? Um, but, Savoy. Now, he says that is a fantastic MTL. Yeah, but it's not really MTL. You can get a DL, a restricted DL vape out of it. Is that um, vaping with Vix? Um, yeah. RTA. Yeah. Yeah, but in any case, yeah. So vaping brew, you can have a look at uh, that that guy. Um, of course, Roos says it's awesome. Um, what is nog iets? Okay, radio. Niet alles is hier verkrijgbaar. We hebben een twee liter wet, bijvoorbeeld skonkers. Ja, Tom. Ik denk het gaan beter wees als ik met jou Afrikaans praat. <laughs> Omdat je van Holland afkomt. But uh, yeah, but we also got the problem here, Tom. Um, not everything is available. We've actually got such a limited amount of vape gear which is available in South Africa. 
when you look at the overseas guys i mean it's, i think uk is probably the guys that get everything first no okay. no uh-uh no the, 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 it, it's it that's a misnomer if you go and travel and you see vape shops in general worldwide they suck noogies the south african vape shops are way ahead of the pack i mean you I, i've been into vape shops in germany uh in um paris and they suck noogies man yeah. they, so basically online is the way to go absolutely look there are a couple of specialist um vape shops which are worth visiting like there's one in miami um but by and large they the they just sell the same chinese shit that everybody else sells John always says to his uncle Rob, how's about some H.E. Long Johns? I'm freezing on your behalf. I bet, and you see, the, the only difference is, <laughs> I've got a heat <laughs> Take those best fishing legs. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah these, these legs, it's funny. I, I mean, I was in Alaska last year, uh, walking up next to the glacier uh, in my short pants. And I mean, people look at me like I've crawled out of a piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got the aircon running at the back here, 28 degrees. So I'm I'm nice and snuggy inside of here. Yeah, I'm snuggy as well. Yeah, I've got <laughs> my my vapor mountain hoodie on here, and a heater down there. And baby Chu is in her, her little habitat there. Yeah, see, there two of us just says the Sigle 100 watt plus box mod. My first box mod was considered highest end back in the day and then nobody is it's actually true because when i went to those websites they list the top 10 high-end gear of 2018 you'll fall on your back when you see what mods they actually go and listing you don't own one of them except the rio but the rest is is commercially available stuff almost all of them yeah, and no, seek was one of them yeah it's never been a high end i don't know where what website that is <laughs> Don't worry, Sean. It's not only cold in Centurion. It is it's, it's Liu Coat. He's on any car book. It's not a copy of the man. I mean, just down the road, we've got snow. I mean, the bird's only two and a half hours away, and there's snow on the mountain. Yeah. Listen, you, you enjoy fishing. Can I tell you a joke quickly? This guy applies for a job, but he's a general salesman. It's almost like. Oh, I know this. I know this one. But, but tell it to these people quickly. They love you it. You probably tell it better. I can't remember all that. You, you tell it. It's a good joke. I know <laughs> if, I, if it's the one I think it is. Do you guys, do you guys want to hear a joke? A yes, high, high end joke. Let's just call it a high end joke so that it actually fits into the topic. But uh, this guy applies for a general salesman job where, it's, as I said, it's like Walmart where they sell a lot of stuff. And uh, the owner of the company says, yeah, sure, I'll give you one day. I'll give you a... A day's trial and at the end of the day i'll find out from you how it went and then we can decide to take things from that point onward guy says chop chops so at the end of the first day the owner goes to this new guy and he says listen how did it go today how many clients the guy says no he just he saw one client just one boss just shakes his head he said no he's average salesman these guys are between 20 to 30 clients a day that sucks a bit how many sales did you do he says now about eight hundred thousand rand Guy says, holy shit, had it from one client. He says, yeah, one guy. He says, how, how did that go about? He says, no, the guy had a small little fish hook in his hand. And I asked him, what is he going to go and catch? And he said, no, it's this fish. I said, no, 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 you, the fish hook's not going to help. And I took him to where he's got larger fish hooks. And then I said, but what is the type of fishing pole which he is? And the guy mentions what he has. And I said, no, 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 the thing's, no wait, the thing's going to break. And I took him to the fishing pole department, bought a bigger fish fishing pole and then i asked him what type of boat and he mentions his boat and they said no this fishing pole is going to look a bit odd because it's fairly new and nice looking on your boat then i took him to the boat department we bought a nice new boat and i asked him what do you use to actually tow your boat and when he mentioned his vehicle i said never 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 will this thing be able to to pull this boat so i took him to the the bucky the, the toyota hilux department and sold him a hilux and the owner says, holy crap, and that from a single fish hook. He says, no, the guy just came in to buy tampons for his wife. But then I told him, your weekend's any case messed up. You might as well go fishing. 
I just think it's brilliant salesman. And that's the tactic which I will use on you. And that's how I'm going to get a skyfall from you. <laughs> you understand <laughs> how things work now. Question from Vaping Brew. How is the Dwarf MTL with the second smallest producer? It was cuck. Probably first, you're into MTL, it's probably dead right for you. Perfect. But for me, not so much. I did, I, John says, uh, scale and popping O's. I'm training for um, <laughs> con for sure. <laughs> Jack has a high-end kit which he has is a dot box 200 watt the wake rta yeah Hein, i think you with me in this specific <laughs> corner now <laughs> uncle rob frowns on stuff like that that's not high-end definitely not i don't frown on it no, no, i know you don't frown but i mean you won't regard it yeah. as high end. yeah it's not high end. No. no definitely not i mean you have never laughed at anything which i'm vaping so you definitely don't have that that elitist nugget up your ass you're just um, a plain Jane. Yeah, no, big time. Just a nice guy. So could you tell us, how, how did you get off, off, off smoking? How did it come about? Um, I gave up, I, I took Shampix. <clears throat> and uh, Anthony and I both smoked. And we both gave up for about three months. And then we went on an overseas tour around Turkey and a bus tour. And every time the bus stopped, the guys got off and had a smoke. So every time I got off the bus, these acts were, and there was too much for me. So I started lighting the cigarette for the guys. And then eventually I said, okay, well, give me, and then I was smoking again. And, <clears throat> but the problem was for me, this, I can't do anything in half measures. So I was smoking like 60 a day and I was coughing nonstop. I'd wake up during the night and I couldn't breathe. And I couldn't even walk up my driveway to put the dustbin out. I'd have to stop and catch my breath. And I was getting huge revs from NTF because she'd given up. And of course, I stink. And so I realized I had to give up for two reasons. One, because I want to stay married. And two, I didn't want to die. And uh, so I bought myself a twist clearo. And the rest is history. Never look back. I never, I never, I've never touched a cigarette since then. I'm almost coming up for my five-year anniversary, and I've not touched the cigarette, and never will. I never will again. I know. And and what nicotine level do you vape at? Three. Is it? Now I didn't find that a problem at all for me to leave s cigarettes, and that's strange because I mean it was 20, 21 or twenty-two years of smoking camel filters, and when I started vaping, poops. I you know, I, bat I battled a bit. I battled a bit, and I must say, I, I, I got, um, I had some really bad side effects, yeah. and I, I thought it was vaping, so I, I got to the stage where I thought I was going to have to give up vaping, but it was just the poisons leaving my body. Um, I got headaches. Oh my God, did I get headaches? And and I always used to get headaches. I, I mean, I used to take Marfredol two, three times a week. And then when, when I gave up, I was living on Marfredol and I was getting even worse headaches than before. And I thought, oh, no, I'm going to have to, you know, I must be vaping. And I, I tried uh, low PG and high VG and all sorts. And then all of a sudden, it, everything went away. And in the five years that I've been vaping, I think I've taken Marfredol twice. Yeah. And I was living on Marfredol when I was smoking. Now listen to get back to to he quickly just so we can uh <laughs> get get some he topic covered if anyone here wants to buy a he product what do you reckon is the best way to do that um the best way is to start joining some of the facebook hind groups um probably the the probably the best one is vape escape um, it's a relatively new group. It was born out of political wrangles and bullshit that you get uh, in some of the high end uh, groups. Yeah. And the guys set up a new group and they've got thousands and thousands of members. Um, and just and talk to people with high end. Tell them, I mean, talk to me. I, I get people talking to me every single day asking me for advice. 
Um, but you, you, had, you mentioned something about you are not allowed to buy two Skyfalls. Is that true? That's correct. Why is that? Because he wants everyone to have a Skyfall first. Why should I have two when other people have got none? Now, because it's a bigger chance that people like me have access to you getting one than it is actually going on that Facebook group at the right time and hitting that button. Remember, no, some guys have still got dial-up modems. <laughs> Remember those? Yeah. That guy no, stands no chance. I was... I was the second internet provider in South Africa, so I know those modems very well. <laughs> there you go. That was my first gaming modem. Then, yeah. 56. I think it was a 56. What do they call it? 56K. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, in fact, I was the first internet provider on the African con continent to offer 56K speeds. And that's why you've got an HE collection. That is 100% correct. <laughs> I mean, I never forget. I had to put in a, a, a modem system that cost 200000 Yeah. Now, that's back in 93. Bear in mind that I bought the house next door for 200000 as well to extend my business. Um, so I went to Stanek and I funded that thing. And that was the beginning of the end. I mean, I couldn't. I, I had to tell people I can't take any more subscribers. Damn it. Yes, like it, huh? But say, how long have you smoked for? I was 23 years, been seven years vaping. I've, I've funnily enough, not vaping that long. I think I've been vaping for what, three years now. So yeah, it's I, not that, that long, but I was smoking for about 21, 22 years. I smoked for about 42 years and I've been vaping for five. Just like it. Yeah, but see, Rob, I think I was one of the lucky guys who was actually a, a habit smoker without realizing it. Because I mean, when you wake up, you smoke to tomorrow morning you're going to do exactly the same thing because i mean i i'm vaping juices which is one milligram often zero milligrams yeah I'm no craving for that nicotine anymore so i was I lucky the, there's a post there from hein he says a key question why are those cd ponks so bloody expensive it's not like they have two and a half grams with a copper silver in them i agree with you 100 percent. yeah no I, yes yes now that's that's that now that's my old point oh uh, yeah he has a plug the new plug called the switch injection molded yeah but this but it, it it's for me the same than it is 3d printed why is it so expensive if it's injection yeah. molded yeah i agree if a guy carves a thing smooths out does the hybrid thing i can understand that but yeah. please mm. i agree i bought this because my mate is a friend of him and i wanted to show support no, luckily I'm not into those things. So that it doesn't bother me when somebody shows me a plug or he shows me a monarch or he shows me that or that. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Um, they think we wanted to know how I made my money. <laughs> you know, I spent most of my most, most of my life in the corporate uh, corporate world um, and ended up as a director of polar packaging on the MIS division, the IT division. And... Uh, discovered bulletin boards which was the forerunner of the internet where we it was amateur dialing up of modems all over the world and that's when i that's when it clicked to me that the online world was coming it was way before the online world came so when um internet connectivity arrived that's when i started my isp i sold my i mean i was a mom and pop isp in durban i had probably four and a half thousand uh, subscribers and a probably 20 odd leased line customers and that's when the corporate world woke up to the fact that the internet wasn't a passing phase and wasn't just a hobby and they started offering me a few amounts of money for my business and uh, I came home to my wife after a meeting and I said look they offered us this mon money and she said well what do you want to do because it was more money than we'd ever dreamed of and I said, I don't really want to sell. So she said, okay, well, go and sell. And they pestered me and pestered me. And eventually, uh, I, I doubled the figure that I'd been offered and said, that's my number in the story, hoping that they'd go away. And they wrote me a check. Um, so I retired for about two weeks. And then they asked me to run the business for them, which I did. Um, and 
that it was a bit, it was a new con. Yeah, Chris Rose remembers Rob List. I used to do the create the de facto list of bulletin boards in the country. Anyway, the company that bought me out, they gave me half the money in, in cash and half the money in shares. And they said I had to keep the shares for three years. And I used to go up for board meetings to Pretoria where the head office was, and I just didn't get a warm feeling. And eventually at one of the board meetings, I said, I've got to sell my shares, guys. I've got another deal that's going down. It was all bullshit, but I, and I did it in front of the whole board. And they said, oh, you're crazy. Your share price, the share price at the time was three rand ninety-five a share. And they said, by April, it's going to be six rand fifty. You're crazy. So I said, oh, I know. And they said, oh, no problem. We'll, we'll take your shares off you. So they wrote me a check for the shares. On my way to the airport, I stopped at the bank and I did a special clearance, got home. And about two weeks later, they was, their shares were suspended on the stock exchange at six cents. They bought probably 15 or 16 companies, and I was the only oak that ever got paid. Um, in, to, in, to cut a long story short, they, they wanted to close down the internet business and sell off the equipment, and I wouldn't let them. And they offered me a huge bribe if, to let them do that. And I just, I, I mean, I remember I, I lost control. I've got a really bad temper, which I've lost probably three times in my life. And I just freaked in the offices and screamed, and I nearly killed the oak. I didn't physically touch him, but I came really close. And then they realized that they would have to, they couldn't sell off the equipment to their mates. And I found an investor in the UK who said, look, they want to buy the company, but I must invest with them, which I did. And the deal was to invest, um, to stay with them for at least two years. So I ran the Durban operation and I, and I consulted to them for two years. But during that time, I uh, bought up a laboratory of nerds writing software for the future. It was before cell phones and stuff, and I could see this coming. And um, <clears throat> then cell phones came out, and the, the UK holding company said to me, I must retrench all this, all this laboratory staff. And I said, look, instead of you having to retrench them, I will leave and I'll take them with so that you don't have to pay retrenchments, and I'll start my new business. And they said, sweet. My current business, which I go to for an hour a week for a management meeting, we run Vodacom's corporate SMS services from our offices in Clue. And we'll probably set the new rec. We're probably going to send about 150 million SMSs this month. So Vaping Brew, now you know. You want a long answer what type of question you must ask Rob. <laughs> <laughs> the Ben, ben Vapes. It was very, very motivated because that's how I can afford the solar storm. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, he sold his business. <laughs> yeah, so, yes, I've got a YouTube channel. I don't really do much YouTubing of late, um, but it's if you search for Rob Fisher SA, you'll find me. Yeah, you can just uh, search for Rob. But I mean, I think I'll when um, this video goes up. I'll post a link to your channel in any case at the bottom Sweet. of this. And you guys can always in the comment section or just going to ask him on his on his site. Ben Vapes, guys, I want to congratulate you and your great video responses to Jay's video. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Ben. Don't really want to talk about the guy. I mean, he's got his own agenda. I've got mine down here in South Africa. We've got other problems to worry about. Staying alive is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, I mean, yeah, no, but I mean, that, that's the type of person who I am. I, I've got learners watching, so I can't be aggressive and nasty. And it's not in my nature to go and start swearing in any case. No. But yeah, thanks for that. But you mentioned earlier, Ben Vapes, about the, the Rebel versus the Boxer Squonkers. I know, Rob, have you ever owned a Rebel Squonker? No. No, that's isn't what. That, isn't that by Ginger Vapes? It is, yeah. It I is. don't like that it's attitude. But, He's got uh, a really bad attitude. But I would, I would kind of, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't mind having one of those, those regulated um, squonkers though. But it must be a 2700 at least. But it's 3D printed. I know, yeah, but I just like that rugged look of the thing, man. Ah, your balls, man. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Don't be nasty. <laughs> so in any case, what is there else? Say tube for us. What is tube? Tube. Tube. How do you say tube? Are you talking about a mech tube? No, Rebel is by Rebel, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I want a, a rebel. Ginger vapes a bunch of. <laughs> okay, that's vaping brew. <laughs> vaping brew is driving his bucky again, over over his speed speed wobbles. Yeah, Petrus w desperately wants a spade, but I don't know if management's going to allow him to get a spade then, John. Is it? But I, I can't. Why can't you buy any spades anymore? Yeah, you can, but I think he's bought enough squonkers and stuff, and I think his wife will kill him if he buys any more. Yeah, but he'll probably go the route which you went about a year ago, not telling her. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> for, for sure. Gingerbread makes the boxer, boxer mods. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't personally like the bo boxer mods um, because of the, the, the paint which they actually include in their 3D printing. I mean, it, it starts fading. So that's a problem which I have with them. But uh, still nice looking, but I'd rather go for Rebel in any case. But that's me, not Rob. Yeah, Anton asked me if would I ever consider Juma BB. Uh, no, I wouldn't because it's a clone. A Juma? If, if, if Bullet Fox themselves made it, I would consider it. But I thought the Juma, is the, Ju, the, the, the Juma the company or is the type of paneling? Juma, Juma is, the, is the type of material. Yeah. And it comes from Germany. It's made in Germany. All right. Yeah, also in the corporate games, any chance YouTube videos is when I'm driving. No, no, I'll, I'll watch your view YouTube videos. I mean, you've got a totally different approach. Uh, I actually relax with the brandy and coke when I watch your videos, Vaping Brew. <laughs> I always find myself talking in a really South African accent <laughs> after watching with you. <laughs> the brew and the brudettes. Yeah, no, for sure. Rob, don't know if the question was asked already, but what is your favorite mod audio you have? Combo? That one over there? That's it's a dwarf the at the top. It's the Solar Storm with the Dwarf DL on top. It just, from a practicality, from a beauty, from a vape. If, 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 I, if I could only have one device, one setup, that would be the one I would keep. Now, um, somebody mentioned about the Dwarf that's got problems with the O-ring. Does it? When you actually slip oh, yeah. on something, the O-ring comes out. Oh, very much so. Yeah, look, there's two, there's two issues with the door. It's very hard to put, uh, it's got conventional posts, you know, where you have to, the, where the screw goes yeah. down and the wire pops out. That's, it's got that issue. And then also the main cap that goes over the top, you've got to lubricate it and be very, very gentle and careful when you push it down over the coil, because if you stuff up the O-ring, then it's going to stick out, so yes. Yeah, if you bug it up the O-ring, change the O-ring out. Um, yeah, there, there, there's a few issues with the dwarf, but it's worth it because six mil of, of juice and a fantastic vape, and you've just got to be gentle putting the cap back on. Look at look at Anton. Anton says, as a biology teacher, you should know what Juma is. Please Google it and tell the kids about it. Where in your body do you find a Juma, Anton? Type that voice in. <laughs> is that a slang word for the area between your arsehole and your pee pee? Isn't that a gooch? <laughs> um, Heim, um, the dwarf, there's two versions. There's the 22 mil dwarf MTL, which is for mouth to lung, and then there's the 24 mil DL, which is the direct lung. And I, the one I'm talking about is the direct lung, the dwarf direct lung. It's made in Hungary. All right, so what is the most affordable HE setup which I can go and buy now? Uh, bullet box. Bullet box. 8,000. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. that's, yeah, it's, it's basically the cheapest which you can go. All right, bullet box. But bullet box, you say you get direct lung from that? Yeah, yeah, restricted. Restricted direct lung. You make it look so nice. <laughs> that little thing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. go for a jellyfish. <laughs> those those tricksters at Vapecon are in for shit this year because <laughs> I'm going to enter. You must actually just make yourself one of those big boxes with a smoke in it. And when you smack it on the sides, you blow these massive. You got to win. You got to yeah. win something. At least a t shirt. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> The other thing you can do is if you're handy with a Dremel. Yeah, if those guys who do not know what the Dremel is, this is a Dremel. 
this little kit. Very handy kit. Rob Saucer probably got one. Have you got a Dremel? It's the fantastic that's you playing with out with the best shit in the woods. Especially if you've got this extension at the in the front. This is what I used to do my engraving on. But yeah, the Dremel is very handy to clean your mods as well. It's got a lot of fantastic points. Frame staples, total failure. Cameron, I made a lot of frame staples today. A lot. So I'm just waiting for my caps and my... Um, what's the other one? Uh, baseball caps and... What the burglars use? The clava. Yeah, one of those little pop cappies. Um, then I want to, in a competition, give away some frame staples and some juice and some caps. But yeah, frame staples, once you get it, you don't lose it. I mean, it's just about, it took me a long time to actually manage it. So I don't think that YouTube videos which I made on the Daedalus Pro, that was first attempt. To, I mean, I wasted a lot of wire. And that's the biggest thing which probably discourages people from building coils, is the amount of wire which you uh, waste. And South Africa is not renowned for having a huge amount of wire suppliers and that's that's a bit of a bummer so yeah i was lucky enough to get myself from juicy joe's there you see their logo of juicy joe's they stocking a nice they got in a nice wide array of of ribbon wires so i got myself some nichrome point threes so instead of using the cantles which i normally use i got the pure state um, stainless steel nichrome frame staples and i think uncle rob is starting to enjoy frame staples as well if i'm not mistaken yeah yeah frame staples and aliens are my go-to yeah and no, that's no, there's nothing else which you basically if you flavor chaser those are the guys which you end up with which yeah. is which is going to say basically capable of making with ease you obviously get massive stuff those guys going in for the competitions but it's not practically making all those things every time takes it a long time I'm, a, I'm only interested in flavor just to answer a question here um han asked isn't bullet box out of business no absolutely not they are still in business and you can still go to their website and order bullet boxes for right now yeah the camera which i use is uh, the logitech c920 it's basically an entry level um decent camera for for youtubing but I know most of the guys use decent cameras. I've got a nice camera. I just haven't tested it yet. I'm so used to this little guy in front of me that my Nikon D7100, um, which I think is going to be much better quality than this. But this suffices for me. C920. Is that what you use for your YouTube videos? Um, that's what I bought. <laughs> this is the... Uh, the white the elephant. Canon the Canon 80D, all <laughs> bells and whistles, rock and roll. X5 white elephant. <laughs> no, it's not, because I use it to take pictures. This is, I, I take a lot of vape pictures, but I use a, a Logitech 921. Yeah, so yeah, no, there's, there's nothing wrong with these little cams. They're fine. Um, I'll probably upgrade mine soon now. Got some cash saved up, sir. So. To what? To what? No, and the newer Logitechs, which I... Ah, uh, okay. No, I'll still stick with the webcam. I've got no problem with yeah. it. It's so convenient with the USB, <laughs> plonks it in over there and it, and it picks it up. Yeah. And I mean, you can, I can see you, you can see, I see there's stuff behind you, so I can see clearly what's going on. So I'm fine yeah. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Fuse, Clapton versus Alien. No, I'd rather go for Aliens than it is. Just because of increased surface areas, it looks better. Is trip, tip, trip tips again. Um, would you really say it's worth to take the time of making an alien? Um, if you go, if you go for multi-core Claptons, this if you've got the same internals as what the alien has, because most aliens are three twenty sixes or three twenty eights or three thirties or whatever, alien. Then I've got no problem with you Claptoning it, because I mean it's the ones just straight around and the other ones just skew. So I wouldn't say it's that much huge big of a difference the difference in the frame staple however is a much larger surface area than what an alien actually gives you except if you're talking about a fralian that's something else that's a frame staple that's been aliened now that just looks fancy i've made that before it actually looks very good no, not for sale um brune brunette 
Vaping Guru 200D is very old. 700D is not the newest, but very good quality for video. Um, so ach, I think a, the, you walked around with a you? GoPro. Where's that mobile GoPro of yours? That thing actually a beautiful um, um, image, wasn't it? Is that the 4K? Yeah, this is the uh, this is the um, black. So why don't you use that? Sure. Did that thing just move on its own? Yeah, it's it's a gimbal, so it doesn't matter which way I hold it, it corrects itself. So you can walk around and take pictures and zoom in and do all sorts of things, and it stays straight. But why don't you use that then, Rob? Uh, because the mics really cut. Okay, all right. Um, I wish I could because the picture is fantastic. Yeah, it is amazing. Yeah, I take this. When I go drive, we, I live down a, a, a beautiful road with fantastic um, plane trees. And I like to go video down there. But, um, yeah, the, the sound is the issue. Sure. Listen, I can't believe it. It is it's been an hour and fifty minutes. Or, or am I mistaken? Uh no, no, you're not mistaken. Do you wanna go for another ten minutes? Give these guys a chance for another ten minutes to ask some questions. I'll talk shit. I'll talk baking shit. I'm, I've got no problem. Talk. My school only starts on Tuesday. <laughs> My work's all I, up to date. <laughs> I, I retired about uh seven or eight years ago, so <laughs> I don't have to get up in the morning. <laughs> no, I've got no issues. You guys want to go up until 10 o'clock past 10? You must just say that. I don't, I don't know if it's more than four or five people watching. I've got no idea how many people is actually watching this live feed. Cameron, yes, it's got a mic built in, but I use a, I use a, a Samson mic. Are you using the built-in mic, Louis? No, 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 no. I've got a, f I've got this guy, which I am so happy that I purchased. Ah, uh, okay. This, yes. is the, this is the road. Yeah. I mean, you can only go road. It's a bit, bit expensive though, but it's absolutely worth the while. I think it's an amazing microphone. There is mine. There you go. That's also a road, isn't it? No. Is that a shoe? Sure? Samsung. Yeah, Samsung. Samsung. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, Yaku. Near, uh, see, I've got no idea how many people is watching. I've, I've got 51. no idea. Okay, now that's cool. Um, do you get HE mods with built-in batteries? Oh, geez, I don't, I, I don't uh, like it. I don't no, like any lithium setup. But you don't get HE with built-in... Yeah, but it doesn't even have to be HE. I just don't like no. these. Um, so I stay clear of any mod which has got this built-in. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to lose its power sometime. And then what you're going to do now? Then you must replace that again. 18650s, 27 batteries is just so much more convenient. So yeah. Opinion on the replay mode? That you must ask Mr. Rob. He uses replay mode. He loves replay okay. mode. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there was major FOMO, um, major excitement. Replay is great for squonking and dripping. If you're not a very good squonker, if you're not used to it, because with replay, you're never going to get a dry hit, ever. Not ever. It's fantastic from that point of view. The negative for me with replay is that you've got to use titanium or stainless steel. And I don't know if it's my imagination or not, but I think NR80 tastes better than any other wire. So, I, I, I've got I've got stainless steel coils that I had made, and I use them sometimes in RDAs and squonkers. Um, but if I'm really true and honest, I use NR80 aliens or frame staples in my RTAs. There, there's a nice question for you from Skalk van Staden. Between your vape and porn collection what are you the most afraid of your wife will find and your vape receipts uh, my, my, my porn. <laughs> I, well for starters okay <laughs> don't forget i was a fish I, I, i'm actually a, i've got some cow colors and uh, protein colors for bass fishing so my fishing was really expensive 
and all re the, the fishing shops know not to hand me my receipt ever mm. and it's the same with vaping i don't uh, if i go to a vape shop i drop the receipt in the vape shop um as for porn bear in mind i'm <laughs> bear, bear in mind i'm 62 years old <laughs> and i can only watch about two minutes of a porn movie anyway <laughs> So your porn is actually vape magazines at yes. this point in time. <laughs> or ag agricultural magazines. <laughs> no, I see a new drift when I get a boner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Phil, that's what that's what I do. I just I use um my stainless steel cores with nichrome cores. So I always use a combination because both are for variable wattage yes, wires. I, I, I've got. I use a combination. I've got, I've got those. I've, I've had the, yeah, they were here. Yeah. Stay, they've got stainless steel inners and it's got NR90 outers. And? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, they're nice. But I still think that pure NR80 does a better job. It might still be in my mind, and I've only just got these. I've only just started playing with them. But, you know, when you're an old bugger like me who's used to running at 28 watts with 0.4 ohm coils and everything is perfect anything different takes a while to get used to so i've got them i mean i had them specially made by daniel um and i am testing them but at the moment i, I still think pure ni80 is the way huh. yeah it is um yeah Hein says he's not a fan of stainless coils that's his biggest gripe with replay Chris Sirk says, what do you think of the Reload X, Reload RTA? Yeah, this is where life gets interesting. I like the Reload X vaping on it at the moment. Um, Rob doesn't think it's bad, but he doesn't think it's worthwhile mentioning. <laughs> so, the Reload RTA, it's a strange thing. You know, when it comes to RTAs, um, there's a, where's my, this little goon. I mean, I, I actually enjoy this Zeus. I think that Zeus is except that it's beautiful builds easy fantastic airflow and great flavor i think the zeus is cool so but there's people that don't like it and there's the people zeus, that like the deals and the zeus is. single coil is the tank i recommend for my converts when they're ready to go rta that's a lovely it's a lovely tank affordable tank for the price point you've got nothing to lose great flavor doesn't leak yeah. Easy to build. Machining look, and I like that 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 uh, sandblasting type of effect. Hundred percent. No, no, I enjoy it. I think it's very nice. But yeah, the reload RTA. There's a lot of people that stand by it. I had it there. I think it's a nice a nice RTA. You no know, problem with with reload. I love all reload stuff. What is a man's worst nightmare is when his wife sells his stuff for the price you told her you paid for it. Um, it's no replay doesn't make sense. My stainless steel cores don't know why. Now I don't in any case bother about replay. I'm not yes, sir, Rob. I'm 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 a very, very basic functional person. Very basic. I don't play around with stuff and temperature control, the graphs and shit like that. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> don't forget, you and I have been mates for a long time. <laughs> And I know what how you used to vape in the old days. And Chris Ruiz and I used to nag you about squonking. And you used to think squonking sucked noogies. So you will. And, and now that you've got a decent RTA, you're starting to see the light of it. And, you know, you're still a bit of a children and you want to buy big clouds and 560 watts. But one of these days you will realize that 28 watts 0.4 to 0.6 is the flavor spot that you need to be at. Right. You'll get there. All right, I'll get there. I'll give you another two years. I'll You've only there. been vaping for three. Already I can see RTAs <laughs> are on your horizon. I can see oh, is it. it. Okay, all right. All right, just because I've got three <laughs> versus the 30 other RTAs which I have. But yeah, everyone goes through stages. Yeah. You know, yeah. when you get out of school, uh, a yeah. nice music system in your car is very important. Getting then some mags, something to hang down that little three spiel key that you are in. But, uh, but you go through stages. So yeah, it might fun. be, yeah, uh, for sure. You know what? The most important thing is, are you 
in, you know, for me, when I, when I do a rebuild and a rework and if everything's fresh and new and I take that first vape and I think, oh, my, you know, you get that, oh, my God feeling. Yeah. It, you know, if you're getting that with the device that you've got, then that's... You know, Rob, what, what I would love Cyclone March to bring out, because, I mean, you know I've got a lot of respect for the Hadley. I stand by the Hadley. That thing I'll take to war with me. But the exact same Adley, just with a tank at the bottom. Slightly more airflow, but the same build deck. Why don't they bring an RTA like that? Say again? An RDTA. Yeah. I think that would be, be fantastic. You know, the problem with RDTAs is they sound like a good idea at the time. They say a pain in the ass. An absolute pain in the ass. Well, they must make one which is not a pain in the ass. But no, they must, they must the, maintain the top section because the top section is a flavor recipe. Yeah, yeah. And just add a little tank at the bottom. And make that tank at the bottom squonkable as well. <laughs> there you go. I think yeah. you, you must help me design my my uh, R RDA. But I think, yeah, it's going to be... Where's it? Where's my preliminaries? 100% Paul, the only way to vape is the one that keeps you off cigarettes. There you go man, there you go. <laughs> Looking good. It's called the Oryx. <laughs> the Oryx REA. Sweet. Aya said Africa. Uh, I hope there's nice no Chinese watching to sell, it'll be on Fast Tech tomorrow. No, the thing is it's not a three dimensional drawing I showed you. Uh, so they don't understand what's going on over there. Ah, uh, right? okay. They don't understand. But yeah. All you do with your coils, you just pull the legs, put it down, leave the legs, and it's in. Woo! <laughs> you, I'll tell you now. All right. <laughs> Hello, Philippines. Hey, there's the Philippines. You guys with the... Hey, you know, Rob, all I can show is... <laughs> but yeah, Philippines make great mods, for sure. Omiya did exactly with that with the wasp. RDTA, yeah, but the thing is, I enjoy the Hadley more than I do the Wasp. The Wasp is good for his price, but it doesn't get to the, the point where the Hadley, what the Hadley produces. The anyway, Pyro V2, yeah, I heard the Pyro V2, um, people enjoying that. There are many good RDTAs from Germany. They all use steel cables for that liquid transport. I'm not, I don't know, young. you've owned one of them, Rob. No, I've got one. But you didn't use it. A limited edition gold plated rhodium plated one the corona it's got uh, gold plated steel cables that go up but but you've used it yes and how do you find that versus wicking bringing up juice first of all look at the size of this thing it's humongous yeah it's humongous it's beautiful i mean the quality I mean, if we open it up and look at the, let me show you, look at those gold plated. Um, yeah. It's beautiful. It's, but it's just, I don't like the vape. And so, it's, it, it's, I don't know if the radium plate has made these things tight, uh, but it, I find it, it's very, very, very very tight even lubing it up it's the cap the top cap is very very tight and that and i think it's because of the radium plating personally so what percentage of high-end gear which you have purchased do you actually use often well probably about 20 percent yeah i mean okay let's go through uh that's that's a titanium which one is this yeah, this is the titanium mod from the Ukraine, fully made out of titanium. Nice, but not great. Um, here's the Vapor Giant, beautiful. This one is a, also gold plated, and it's got a, a hand, got solid gold um, drip tip. Drip tip. This I love. I still enjoy this. I do use it. Um, I've got a titanium um, Evil Reaper. 
Beautiful, that, fantastic bait, but it leaks on the refill. So that makes it useless for me. Uh, and then I've got this, this, which one is this? Uh, this is the one RTA from Portugal. Also very nice, but all of them have some issue of some sort. And that's why I love the dwarf. The dwarf is simple, the vape is fantastic, and yeah. it holds a lot of juice. Yes, like it, yeah. Um, pa Palu, yeah, you, there's somebody else that also asked me for, for about the 3D beads. It's these beads. Now, what I will do is underneath this video, I will share and, and link again where you can go and download the file. All right, where you can get these guys printed out. But it's, it's, what, this is what the little beads look like. They just look like that. And then they've got slits on the sides inside over there. And I think it's a very nice lightweight, so it moves along very nice and easy. Just get yourself a decent printer and print it at high quality. So you don't have any um, nudges or any crap on the inside that the slits are nice and smooth. But I will post a link. I'll upload it again. And you guys can actually go and download. It helps a lot, especially if you build aliens with your free hand. Because, I mean, the Daedalus Pro, there is a way, but it's, it's a hassle. It works one out of every ten times, and it's not worthwhile. So aliens is always free hand. And that's where these beads help a lot. So, yeah. I will. Thank, thanks, Roy. My tea is cold, but I'm still drinking it. Ben, <laughs> um, no, I, I never really got into the G. I never got into the GT3. Um, the GT4 was my first tough in. Geek vape tanks. I don't know. I've, I don't think I've ever used a geek vape tank. You, Rob? Yeah. Can't say that I've got any left, but I'm sure I, I, I must have. Yeah, that's one thing no one can say of you. No matter how much HE gear you have, you always buy what is available and you think is also going to produce nice flavor, even if it's two, three hundred rand um, item. Hundred percent. Well, part of what I do is um, I want to spread the word according to the base. And if I don't know all these things, then I can't, you know, I've got lots of converts. I mean, I must have converted literally hundreds of people. And even people I don't know, I walk up to smoke. When I see smokers, I walk up to them and say to them, listen, you stink and you're going to die. And some of them just tell me to fuck off. <laughs> um, but then they are interested. And I sit there and I chat to them. And so, I, I mean, a lot of these new tanks that are coming out from china are really really good oh yeah perfect yeah, yeah. i think this is the only, only geek vape but i mean I, I don't have enough i've experience actually bought, with geek vapes actually giving an opinion about it that's I've just bought, one i've bought four of those over time i, I don't have any left because people come around and um i set them up with a new de new yeah. device and i always give them a zoot yeah, the thing is, if I, if, if, I, if I have to give an opinion about something, I must at least have three, four, five different ones of a company. I mean, Lost Vape, I can give you an opinion about them. I can give you an opinion about Cyclone, but uh, H. Agar, Hot Sig, but... Um, Good night, Thailand. Three o'clock. <laughs> <Thailand. laughs> three o'clock. Yes, like at five hours. <laughs> Difference. But yeah, there's a... Vaping very lol, okay, I thought you were talking about other type of beads. Yeah, he's talking about this guy. you got a dirty mind, <laughs> Vaping Brew. But my prototypes, which look like this, <laughs> you can actually string a lot of them together and probably use them as the beads which you're thinking of. But yeah, me and Rob, we good guys. We don't think of that kind of stuff. <laughs> Anal beads. Zeus's Geek Vape. Now, I know, I know there's the, the Zeus's, but as I said, that's the only one which I had, so I... Are you you guys know what I feel about how I feel about the Zeus, but I don't have enough. I can't tell you all the tanks are good. Then I'm gonna lie. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah. But uh, I've got. They probably got good stuff. Nom nom. I like this. Rob wouldn't touch this thing. Yes, it's not. They wouldn't the touch this thing. He not he hates this. Nom yes, nom. That's lyric. <laughs> yes, I've, <laughs> I've never seen such an ugly thing in my life since I was born. <laughs> but I didn't buy it for its 
for its lack of beauty. Uh, um, and they well, must look good. No, that's that's practical. That's my my workhorse. From Tuesday, I will be using that guy again. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Just for the capacity and the battery life. I don't find any dual squonker that beats that thing's battery life. Nothing. Look at that thing again. Where did you where did you get that? As modus. No, this is Russian. Almost looks like a typical as modus top, the Minikin no, top. This is this is a Stratum. But show it from the side again. There you are. See there? That yeah. almost looks Minikinish. Yeah, um, yes. As modus copied this. This is much older than these. This was around before they were born. Oh, here's my latest squonker. DNA DNA squonker. Yeah, so that thing's wider. Huh? Yeah, this is the pro this this is the prototype from CLZ. Jeez, Lincoln. And he just released he just released the first two production units and one is arriving at my place tomorrow. Not for me, with with somebody in Joburg. Sure. So he's, he, he will actually have the first um, CL, CLZ, I think he's called it the RQ. Um, it's a DNA 75 squonker from Helsinki. There, there, there's a Hein asked about the Vandy Vape Simple X kit. Have you seen it? Yeah. I funnily, funnily enough want one of those little things. I think it's. Oh, a, yes, the little squonker. I think it's an awesome device for a starter. For somebody. But, beginning vaping really nice and simple variable body voltage i think it's got four or five voltage settings but i think it's very simple i've got no problem with that zaid medicans rock great product mm. 4 a.m in the philippines pula you must go and sleep now tomorrow morning maybe. when you when you wake up you can download my uh, stl file for my beads maybe it just got up early yeah yeah the g-box is the fiat multiple of the vaping world <laughs> the punto <laughs> fiat punto reliable Yuck. yeah it is it is i agree Yako's uh, asking me what i think about the the bassian squonker um i don't really have any major thoughts not for me uh because it's too big and it's um a squonker and it's mass produced but it looks pretty good but will I buy one now? The other stuff, I feel exactly the same way. The only thing which I've got a problem with the basin is the organization of the fire button versus where the squonk bottle sits. I don't like that. There's a specific design which I enjoy. Yeah. So, um, Zaid says, do, I, do we agree that V-God vapes are overrated? Uh, yes, I do. No. They are. I got a, <laughs> a, uh, a V-God, <laughs> the first V-God um, regulated this is very nice i got the one before that this i love this this is the only vgod product i was interested in any case was this guy and this is a fantastic mod i think I it's a bit bit too expensive there i couldn't wait to get shot to mine because it made a noise yeah we'll see and it was the bat the fire button rattled Ach, I, I really dislike that intensely no this thing is no i love this thing we just put some batteries in this guy See my batteries are charged. Let's give a bit of Zeus action going over here. Puna Vicious Ant rocks. Really good quality stuff. I've been using Vicious Ant for five years. I've got, I've probably still got five or six of their cyclones, which I used to use on my Rios. Vicious Ant, they went to a stage where their quality dropped, um, but they back. I mean, if you look at the quality of the spade, DNA 75, fantastic. The Mac on 3 Squonker, yeah, I actually saw that there. Um, uh, there was some problem which I had with that. I haven't tested it, obviously not, but um, just quickly want to have a look. If I to refresh my memory. I, don't, I haven't tried the OBS engine too, Tom, Thomas. Mac one. Have you? You haven't tried it either. What's this? The OBS engine two. No, no. I've got two favorite juices at the moment. 
obviously 99% of the time I bake this. And um, also what's in my spade at the moment is this. It's a new range coming from Survey. Uh, I think they've just released, or they're about to release this. It's a, a lychee strawberry um, ice. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, that Mac 1 squonker is... Um... The thing that bothered me about that was was the squonk bottle on this side and the button on that side in the middle. So yeah, that that was the issue which I had with that. Just looking at it there, so I think I'll give another opinion once I had one. This is for the vaping brew. He's right. getting promo. That thing is beautiful, yeah. I haven't tried the neck squonk. Uh, um, I nearly bought one yesterday, but I actually want a. Form Cooper edition. Yeah, I, I'm also not a Red Bull fan. I can't, but it, it's a it's a love or hate relationship. You're either gonna love it like Mr. Rob, or you're not gonna like it. It's a profile thing. No, if you if you just put it in an RTA and you vape the whole tank, you'd be hooked. <laughs> you you spend <laughs> spend how much a month on Red Bull? But, <laughs> now see, I think no, it's yeah. actually not as much as that because a lot of people come far from me. Yeah, but you order eight hundred milliliter bottles at a time. Two liters at a time. Two liters at a time. <laughs> yeah, no, that is that is crazy. My favorite juice at the moment. It's that's difficult. That's difficult. The one I vape the most is a lime milkshake, by far. Another one which I never thought I was gonna like is cream soda float but uh but does it taste like cream soda it mine mine does does exactly i mean I've, I need, this I is my third, third bottle which i'm vaping this holiday 100 milliliter bottle i've i've tried i made a cream soda Tio. about four, four years ago i took um i took uh benji's heavy menthol what did, it, what did he call it the pure menthol and i added some cream soda concentrate to it and it was perfect but i didn't record what i did and i never could make it again but the thing is it's, it's a dripper juice it's not an rta juice okay i can live with that yeah no 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 then and remember all the juices which i make for myself is for dripping and then i've got three or four which i use for my rtas which is the mental fruits which you agree with is the best in the rtas yeah so yes, yeah, so, so yeah, you've got Red Bull, but Red Bull's profile is a lychee, menthol lychee, berry, berry. berry. Yeah. Okay. Um, the vicious ant again, Uncle Rob. Vaping brew wants one. Hopefully, swaying my gloom soon. Yeah, your gloom's been on the classifieds for quite a while now. <laughs> the top button is beginning to rust. Um, favorite eighteen six fifty tube mic. Well, I've only got one because I'm not even into my tubes. Is a, a, a tube which is made by a local guy called Paddy Vapes. But yeah, it's because it's wood. I think I've got the black black wood version. But yeah, and obviously brass. But this is my... So yeah, I'm more into my, to be quite honest, my dual battery regulated mods. That's where I am. And then for squonk, squonking also. Dual battery squonkers. Mm. Same guy, eh? Same guy, just stab wood on that side. Paddy vapes. What number do you have? Sixteen. Uh, see, I was a bit, but but I was a bit late. I got thirty-six. I had number two, but I sold it. Ish, ish, ish. You know that thing is worth about ten thousand today, eh? No, it's not. <laughs> Look at that little, small little num nut. Side fire. But, it's a robo from Atmazoo. But you also don't really into your, your tube mix, eh? No. No, no, the same over here. The thing is, as, as we said earlier, I don't know, Timmy, if you actually missed it. Um, i rather just build a coil and put it in and adjust my wattage according to my coil than actually build a coil specifically for that, that, that mix. I'm big into tubes. But this they, is, they, this, this is a high-end Cirrus from Greece, side fire button. This is the original Phenom from Vicious Ant. 
this was a gift from them because I did so much PR for them in the back in the Cyclone days. They sent me it as a present. Uh, this one also from Greece. This is a Paul Mac. And this is an Atom Zoo Rolo. Also side fire. Um, you also bought the Lost Vape Furion, didn't you? No. My favorite 18650 mech has to be the P67 rear. Yeah. That's my favorite 18650 mech which I have. I would agree with that. But yeah, I prefer it more more than this one. Because this one wow. you actually were limited. On oh, that. yes, that's the original. You could only put in a 22 on this guy where it actually looks fine. Too. Yes. Um, anything more than that looks a bit weird. Yeah. But the P you can actually put on a 24 as well. P67. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. VTC, that's it, 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 it had the Leprechaun and the Cluri, both great mechs, but safety was an issue for me. Why? Because of that um, button which you must turn with your thumb at the top. Me and Rob, we're not friends. Rob sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think on and off, because because Rob is an administrator on on ECG, so a mod. I mean, I've given him. Well, that, you can see his hair. When I joined, he had brown hair. Yes. And then during the course of my activity on ECG, so I think I've given him cray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sex is not me. <laughs> They actually considered banning me at a specific stage. <laughs> Who's this aggressive <laughs> bastardo coming in here? Um, but the, pro the problem is, Rob, not many people understand that, that most of the times I'm right. They just can't handle it. <laughs> I think it's because my method is not always orthodox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one thing you, you're not. And, and <laughs> conforms with rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, what the hell. Yaku says, I agree with that statement. I would rather build a coil that I like and adjust. Yeah, no, no, Yaku, it's true. It's true. I mean, it's also a preference thing. There's a lot. I think there's more people that like mix in Cape Town, specifically in the Western Cape, than there are people liking, like, that like regulator. I mean, if I just check out the, the Facebook pages, yes, like these oaks are mech fundies down here. But no, ah, but I enjoy my regulated stuff. I just want something that works, man. You must look nice. I want to press the button. I want to put in juice and I must have good flavor. Then I'm a happy chappy. Then I'm good. Yeah, no, no. I think we must end, <laughs> end the <this laughs> streaming now. <laughs> Shame. Yeah, it's getting a bit late. It's 2 hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> but, uh, bro, is there any last words which you want to say? It's been nice to be with you all. I, I love this game so much. It's really nice to be interfacing with everybody and maybe we should do it more often. Yeah, I think so as well. I mean, I enjoy going live these days now that I know exactly how things work with all these programs. Um, I was just unsure in the past, but I actually enjoy going live. There's guys that want me to do a live build, but the thing is doing a live build, you never know what... You know Murphy's Law? <laughs> yes. Then all of a sudden, I just can't get my ribbons nicely tied together and I look like an ass. <laughs> and then you guys laugh at me. Yeah, I, we'll record it and post it and <laughs> make fun of you and everything. Make fun of me. So yeah, guys, I thank you very much for joining. I know it's been a long session. Not for me, though. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. A yeah. lot of time flew by like that. Doesn't matter where I am. If I sit and enjoy my vaping, I mean, we might as well have been offline as well. I've got no problem being live. We must thank the viewers for actually staying around for so long and actually watching. But yeah, I'm if you've got um, um, uh, any ideas of uh, who else you want me to interview, or you want Rob, me and Rob to do a regular talk cr crap stuff, we can do that extremely well. I can guarantee you that. We are expert crap talkers. We, we try to stick to the HE topic and you see it where it went. Jokes about fishing hooks and stuff like that. <laughs> Rob's business being sold, etc. So, any case, so that's cool, guys. Have a joyous evening, and we're going to sign off. Keep it real. Have you. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>